to Christmas Eve. Oh, how exciting. Let me go ahead and share a link to the live stream in the Discord, as I'm supposed to do. All right, let's see. We got some Minecraft playing in the background. Hope you guys are having a nice holiday. Some of you guys are probably working. Actually, I'm working right now. <laughs> yeah, I, I would work through the holidays when I worked for Coca-Cola, and I was always like, someday I'm going to have a job where I get to be off during the holidays. But here I am. But I like doing this, so it doesn't matter. All right, there we go. We've advertised the live stream. Let me make sure that the details of the description are correct. All right, cool. Hard grading, CGC. All right. Everything's looking good. Oh, we're going to change one thing. Shining Legends are not going to be for sale. So Shining Legends are going to make exclusive to the uh, custom booster packs. So those are hidden. There we go. Because I don't have that many, to be honest. And I will in the future, but right now I do not have that many. Okay, we'll log into PayPal. People probably did pre-orders. Maybe they didn't, but I'll go take a look. Andrew says no! All right, we're jumping over to activity. I'm kind of thinking of having exclusive sets just for the uh, custom booster packs. Because it's fun to have something that's kind of like, you can only get it one way, you know what I mean? So let's see... I have a bunch under pending. I think we already took care of all that. Here we have um, a refund from eBay. And Shelby, what's up, Shelby? Shelby says, two shiny star, I have a bag. All right, so we do have an order. It's for Shelby Loops. Let's get it, Shelby. All right, I'm looking at the screen finally. What's up, guys? What do we have here? We got Caleb Nichols Cherryzard. Sweet. How you guys having, uh, how's your weekend? How's your holiday? Mr. PayPal spanked me. They want me to upload a picture of my ID and proof of address. Holy. Jesus Christ, dude. I've never been requested that. That must be like, why are you spending all your money with this one guy, TCC? What are you doing with all that monies? Uh, just buying Pokemon. <laughs> I want to buy packs, but past me restricted it. Uh, that's probably a good idea to, to uh, take a little break. You know, if you feel like you're a little out of control, that's a pretty good sign that it's time to take a break, right? And that how it works? Uh, it's like when you're eating too much food, you eat, eat, eat. But it's like if you reach a point where you're like, I don't think I'm supposed to be eating that much. That's the sign that you're eating too much. <laughs> so let's see what we get for Shelby Loops, though. Shelby, maybe just one. <laughs> that's how it works, too. Just one. One couldn't hurt. One little candy bar. One little shot of vodka. Couldn't have hurt. Just one. How's it going, Taft? Hope you have a great Christmas. Oh, thanks, guys. Oh, Trevenant Tree. Oh, Trevenant Tree. Do you guys like my title? They're Santa Scorch. I got three Charizards in a row. Woo! <laughs> well, you did very, very well getting those Charizards. Um, you know, you've got the two, the VMAX and this guy, and if they grade well and you get them sold, you will basically get all your money back. But before you spend more, maybe try getting your money back first, right? So try to get them graded and sold, and and uh, don't don't spend the money. L like, let's say that you actually made money on this, right? Don't pre-spend that money you've made because it doesn't really exist until you've gotten this graded and he comes back and you sell him. So I think that's a mistake some people make. They get a really good pull and they're like, oh, I've got money now. You know what I mean? Well, it's, it's theoretical money. Wait until you have real money from it first. Hope that helps. The struggle is real. Uh, if, if people had infinite money, they'd open infinite Pokemon cards. And maybe Pokemon cards wouldn't be as fun if everyone had infinite money because the, uh, the reason Pokemon cards are addicting is because they have value. And if everyone had infinite money, Pokemon cards would have no value anymore. And there's my kitty. She's meowing. So Shelby, Shelby says he has a bag. Or she. Shelby's a girl name, right? Let's find Shelby's bag. So Stark, Steven, Sven, Simeon, Sam, Steven, Santos, Stanny, Sean Ben, Shang Dang, Snow Walrus, Stanahara, Stacy, Scott. You must be up top. Let's find your bag up here. Okay, we've got Steven Dam. Snorlax. Oh, here we go. Shelby. Shelby, your bag shouldn't be up there. It's too small right now. This is the big boy box. We put the little bags on the bottom. I must have really been desperate for more room. Hidden Fates has me spending. Oh, man. Hidden Fates. Whew, what a set. Let me go ahead and refresh. Little kitty sitting on the exercise bike like she does sometimes. You guys want to see? Look, I'm going to show you guys a little kitty. You ready? 
Mister, what is your sleep schedule? Oh! She's sitting on the chair. Oh, but she's in trouble. She didn't throw up today, but she has been attacking the other cat and it's gotten so much worse. Like, she actually actively goes after the other cat and just viciously attacks her. And we are still having serious talks about rehoming her because of that. Yeah, she, um, she will chase the other cat out of the room, and if the other cat doesn't leave the room, she will just uh, viciously attack her over and over again. And we're having a lot of trouble. We've tried a lot of things, too. We've tried separating their food bowls, feeding them at different times, uh, keeping them in separate rooms. Nothing seems to work because the white kitty goes into the room that the other cat's in and then chases her out of it and then changes room. So it's really bad. Anyways, she's really sweet to me, and that's about it. It's so weird. So, yeah, we're still talking about that. It was actually my wife saying that she's she's still interested in rehoming the cat. And you know serious business when my when when Quip Quip says she's interested in it, because she might actually get it done. Alexander Ross, what's up, man? He says one wigged and one shiny star. I have a bag. I have something new in the uh, stream. So we have a new thing. These are hollow cards, and mixed into the hollow cards, there might be a good pull or two. And so you can now buy a holographic card for five dollars. And you might get lucky and pull something really cool out of here. So these are $5 now. Please, if you're going to experiment with it, do so lightly. I'm also experimenting. Uh, and then here are the here are the wigged packs. I actually made two boxes this time because yesterday we ran out of wigged packs. We didn't have enough for the stream. So this time I made one whole box. Uh, and this is the starting box. So here we go. One wigged pack for Alexander Ross. And Alexander Ross, you're starting out with the lovely Shining Celebi. Sweet. No sleeves? That's right, no sleeves. Trent says Trump vetoed the defense bill. I heard about that. It was like a $740 defense bill. I didn't really read the article, though. Sounds good to me, man. Is anyone at war right now? I don't even know why we need a $740 billion defense fund. I just wish people had better access to healthcare right now. I feel like that's a much more important issue is to help people with their health. Okay, so one wig pack, one shiny star. Healthcare is a big problem right now. Alexander Ross. What do we got? What do we got? Mm, boy. Is there any word on the other express grade shipment? Uh, so they have it, but they have not even started grading it. And they only recently shipped out the previous express grade. So I think here's what's going on. Like, I sent them two express grades, one order, and then your order, the one you're in. And they the whole time they were working on the older express grade, they hadn't even touched the new one. So I think their strategy is to only be working on one order for a person at a time. So hopefully they're starting work on the new express order very soon. However, the problem here is... Uh, it's Christmas, so I'm assuming some of them have taken off. I'm assuming some of them are on vacation. I'm assuming they have the day off as well. I don't know, or they're working half days, right? So they're not like they're not like Walmart workers, right? They're not paid minimum wage, and they don't get. You see what I'm saying? But I don't really know what to expect. All I can tell you is that they have not even started grading it. They're doing research and ID or whatever the term is. It could be about four more weeks before it returns. I don't know. That's just based on what I'm used to seeing with the express grade. What's up, Ivan? Thank you so much for becoming a member. Okay. So uh, that's funny. You bought a shiny star pack and you bought one of my packs and you got a shiny Celebi from my pack. Seam says it's probably stressed. Try playing with her often. Make sure she has enough room to roam freely and it's not too cramped. It's a little cramped in here, but I mean, it's just me and my wife and one cat. So there's a cat room. There's a bedroom. Uh, there's a living room and there's a kitchen. I think there's plenty of room for a cat. I've had cats before. I think she's just kind of a bitch. <laughs> she's a really mean cat. She's pretty territorial, I think. I think that might be the problem. Alexander, let's find your bag. We don't know what to do about it. It's We've had her for a while, man. She's a troublemaker. She's a troublemaker and it's gotten real bad. In Pokistan, we veto Cheetos. I'm sure there are plenty of cat recipes out there. Mister, is there any vintage for sale? Uh, there's no vintage for sale tonight. Basically, when it comes to vintage packs, I think that I could sell them very fast. I don't think there's a benefit to selling them very fast. I think that that is... Actually, I almost feel like there's no benefit to selling them at all. But I don't think there's a benefit to selling them very fast. So I occasionally pull them out just so that you guys have some cool content 
And if I didn't feel like I needed to make vintage content, there's a fair chance we would not open them at all. All right, let's see what's next. Andrew Edward, he says, shiny star. You got it, Andrew. Let's do it. Wish me luck, please. I'm getting Elite Trainer Box for Christmas. Good luck, Brony. Brownie. In the defense bill, it had a section saying Trump can't initiate the Insurrection Act. <laughs> Maybe that's why he uh, vetoed it then. <laughs> oh, my God. But it's kind of dis disrespectful saying that as well, even just insinuating. You're getting coal. He's getting colossal for Christmas, guys. What do we got here? We've got tox... Oh, toxicity. I almost called him Toxicroak, but I stopped myself. Woohoo! We got 111 viewers in the first 10 minutes. That's great. That means we've got a nice, good audience starting out. That means that my phone's going to crash, right? Is that how it works? Cats need a lot of room to roam. Try freeing space up in the house to reduce stress. Dude, we can't... There's no more space to free up. Seriously, there's not a lot more... I mean, maybe, maybe we could build, like, cat walkways on the walls to utilize more vertical space. But the house is as clean as it's ever going to be. I mean... We don't have kids or anything like that, so this is as this is as good as it gets for the kitties. You know what I mean? I bought everyone a gun for Christmas. <laughs> yeah, he says maybe cat, kitty's territorial. I'm thinking she's territorial. Let's find Andrew's bag. Here we go. All right. Ooh, we had a crazy night the other night with those shining legend packs that packs that they did the uh, pack battles with. Thank you, sir, and happy holidays to everyone. Have a nice Christmas. You too, mister. Don't get in a car crash. I went out tonight with my wife. We went walking on Main Street, and, uh, dude, we ran across three car wrecks tonight on the way there and then the way uh, way back. Three. Three car wrecks. It's like the day before Christmas Eve. What are you doing, guys? Just drive safer. Jesus Christ. It's not even raining. It's not even snowing. It, it was actually kind of a warm day. It felt like it would, didn't drop below 50 degrees. And there's still three car cracks, uh, crashes. Can people just freaking chill? You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It's just, some guy actually swerved around me because he didn't like how fast I was driving. I was I was going over the speed limit, but he's like he's he's drag racing down this road, and he swerves around me with no like turn signals, and it's so stupid because I still caught up to him because he got caught in the lights, and that's how it always works, guys. Uh, I drove for Coca Cola for two years. Before I drove for Coca-Cola, I was a very aggressive driver. You know, I'd be speeding, I'd be zipping around, I'd be dodging between lanes. When I was done driving for Coca-Cola, all that stopped. And the reason for that is because I had this uh, GPS device, and the GPS device actually revealed a lot to me. It revealed all that aggressive driving really doesn't save you that much time. It might save you like five minutes tops, which is not worth getting in a car crash over. So when I was done driving for Coca-Cola, all my driving habits have become much smarter. Sven is next. He says, two times large custom booster. All right. Oh, that's what they're called now, the large custom booster. And so we changed the name to a really a more normal name. Uh, wigged packs was just sort of a meme. So they'll be called large custom boosters. Here goes pack number one. You can still call them wigged packs for the good old days. All right, but the official name is going to be Large Custom Booster. We got Voltorb, Goop Gas Attack. Uh, this is a base set energy. Execute from 2006. It says Delta Species. That's a Japanese base electric energy. And Whooper from Dis uh, Neo Discovery. There we go. It's Whooper. Yeah, you can still call them wig packs. I'll know exactly what you're talking about, but the official name is going to have to be Large Booster. So that was one pack for him. Sven, your second pack. They might prescribe medication to reduce the stress and attacks from the cat. Or we can just turn Kitty into Kitty Stew. Son of Scorch. All right. So those were not hits. Those were cold packs. Although the vintage cards are always fun. Who was that for? That was for Sven. He wants one shiny Star V and international live shipping. Holy cow, Sven. All right. Sven, in order to get your international live shipping done... Go ahead and send me a message on Discord that bumps your private messages with me to the top, okay? I need you to do that. It's very important because we need to make sure that I can actually create your label. All right, here we go. Here's your shiny star pack. Time to get you a big hit out of shiny star. And what do we got? Oh, you got Dragazolt or something like that, as well as Crobat VMAX. Hmm. Actually, we just need these two, don't we? 
Mister, can you read this? I was wondering if you would like some custom packs. If so, please yes. Please say yes. Uh, oh, that's okay. Uh, you're asking me to buy your custom packs is what it sounds like. Um, if you're selling them for free, I'll buy all your custom booster packs for free. What's up, Niles? I own a pet crematory if something was to, was to happen to said kitty. You own a pet crematory. Crematory? Well, how do you say that word? You're going to cremate kitty? Oh, poor kitty. He says, yo, I'm early. Am I early? I think she's giving them to you. I play my PlayStation 5 on the morning, but sometimes in the night. So let's find Sven's bag. Sven, Sven, Sven. Here we are, Sven. Yay, it's Sven! From New Zealand, if I recall, says John Loman. Okay, well, let's jump over here. Sven, you tell me if there's anything that I need to know about your shipping. Oh, hold on. So Sven, there's a there's a form out for international live shipping. You have to fill it out. All right, and in the meantime, why don't I start getting my software reset? Because if I'm going to do a live shipping, uh, really, I need to have that software reset. Okay, we'll start loading that back up. Uh, let's see. So Sven, did you have any PSA cards? Is probably another question I'd ask. We will make sure that we get all your cards. I know there's been. So that's Colin. I know there's been a lot of PSA cards going out lately to people who've been winning them in the, uh, that's Luxury TL. I got some over here. That one hasn't been won yet. Craig Needy won this. Craig Needy did? Huh. Did you get any hidden fates in your area? Uh, you know, I stopped by Walmart tonight because we needed food and I didn't see any hidden fates there. But even if I had, I probably would have just left it alone for the kitties for Christmas, you know what I mean? PSA box and make sure we don't miss any PSA cards for Sven. I don't remember if he had any, but I definitely don't want to miss any. Kitty, what are you doing? Sometimes people order live shipping when they want to get like a PSA card that they recently won. Helpful when you guys order live shipping. Let me know if you have a PSA card or not. Because I don't want to pack your bag up and find out later that you do have one. Alright, so he doesn't have one based on this. Put this away. Man, there's like 50 PSA cards in there. Let me grab this baggie and get them shipped, guys. I'll be right back. Spend, 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 spend. All right, Sven, you're getting kind of an oversized box for the amount of cards you're getting, but that's okay. Nothing wrong with being a little extra careful. Tape dispenser is going to be used. Okay, very good. We just need to create a label now. So I'll sit down with you guys. All right, thank you for filling that out. You're in Germany. All right. Do 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 do. Okay. Mister, I will send you some as a present. What are you even doing? We're doing a little bit of shipping, and then we're going to get back to pack opening, okay? Somebody ordered a live shipping. All right, put that there. We got Minecraft playing in the background. So if I sound quiet, that's because I'm doing a bunch of tippity tapping on my laptop as we create an international label. International labels are always a lot more challenging. They take more time because the forms, uh, 
the form is more detailed than uh, a USA form. Okay, I'm saying that the city is Krefeld and the state is Nord, Nordhein Westfalen. Westfalen. Not sure if I'm saying that right. Probably not. Just want to point that out. Oops. All right, we got the postal code Germany. Usually the city is shorter than the than the state in terms of a name size. So I thought that was kind of strange looking. All right, and email. We put the whole thing together, Sven. Let's see how much it costs to ship to Germany. Are you guys ready? Okay, Germany is actually cheaper. So Germany costs around as much as it costs to ship to Canada. It costs $14. That's pretty good. Huh, I wonder why it's so expensive to ship to the UK. If I was shipping to the UK, it would be closer to $17, and Australia would be closer to $18, $19. Germany is cheap. Okay, we'll save merchandise. We're going to say trading cards. We're going to set the value at $10, I guess. I try to make it so that you will not get a big customs duty whatever tax. Somebody actually talked to me. They sent me a message recently. They said that it was somebody from the UK. He had to pay like 12 pounds of custom duties uh, for the cards I shipped to him. I thought that was just ridiculous. And for those of you who don't really understand what it is, it's basically a tariff. He had to pay a big tariff on the incoming Pokemon cards. I thought that was ridiculous. So, just something to think about. Let's jump back to the PayPal's now. Sven, you're all shipped up. The Arceus is 250. Oh, sorry, here. Okay. Short stream tonight, what do you guys think? Should it be short or should it be long? What Pokemon cards are you selling? Uh, you can see the menu in the description. So with Sven being done, whoa, that's a lot of orders, very quickly. Robert Anthony is next. He wants one Ancient Origin. So my goal is for these live streams to move very fast, or the uh, card openings to move very fast so nobody waits too long. All right, so we got one Ancient Origin and two Shiny Stars. Robert says, I have a pack. I think he means I have a bag. You ready, Robert? Here goes. We'll start with your Ancient Origins. We got to pull you the Mega Rayquaza. Oh, two, three. Volcarona. All right, only a Volcarona in this pack. It's got Corona in the name, huh? <laughs> Coronavirus. Hello, mister. I forgot to say I have a bag on my order for Joel Morin. Thank you, Joel. Short for your health. Oh, you're talking about the stream time. <laughs> What's up, Goblin? We got the Santa Pepe. All right, hide the code. Place it back here. You got some kind of hot card in here. What is it, though? You pulled... Nice, dude. You pulled the Dragapult Full Art Shiny. Beautiful. Okay. That's a big hit. That might be a $100 card, a $200 card, depending on how it grades. I'm not sure, actually. You know, they're Japanese. I know the English ones go for more money because people... People who are English desperately open the Japanese cards before the English set has launched. But the, the Japanese graded cards tend to go for less than the English cards. And part of the reason for that is just because they grade easier. You get more tens. Uh, but the other problem is that, you know, people who speak English probably generally want the English cards a little more. But yeah, I, I feel like he would still go for like... He has to go for $100 just because of the cost of pulling him. You know what I mean? $100, $200, $300. <laughs> so that was for Robert Anthony. Let's find his bag. Quentin, Robert Wright, Ryan, Papa's in the house, Paolo, Ramiro, Ryan, Hutch, Robert Anthony. All right. Oh, you got this Lugia in here, huh? Lugies. Mom, I got Lugia. People really like you, Lugia. I was looking at Lugia Neogenesis, and I'm like, man, I want one, but I don't want to pay this ridiculous cost for it. It's like the item's too hot almost. 
Tenzelberg. What's up, Tenzelberg? He says, one wigged pack. He says, evening, mister. Happy holidays. All right. Let's see what you got. Misty's determination. Well, at least you don't have to be lonely on Christmas. You guys don't have to be lonely on Christmas ever. You've always got your Pokemans. Who here is going to be lonely on Christmas? Is anyone here going to be lonely on Christmas? Who's going to be the loneliest and why? Tammy, Teddy, Triple Russ, Tommy, Big Sir, no, White Water, Tiger Boy. Tiger Boy needs to be shipped. I'm lonely every day. Oh, <laughs> never lonely if you have your, oh my God. Travis, Temlet, Tony. Okay, you must be in the tea box. I think my bag's up top. It's probably up top. Here we are. All right. <laughs> What's this, Von Doom? Thumbs down? What the hell? Kids ain't having no Pokemon cards. Cancel Christmas. Woo! Andrew Edward says two hollow card things. All right, so this is the new thing. These are hollow cards, and in here might be a good pull. Who knows? Okay, we got one. Nidoran from, it looks like, from the Legendary Collection. And you know what? The way it works, those you get those for free. So if this was not a hollow card. So this is one of your pulls. Vaporeon's your first pull. I, I realized the way I was designing these, I would count out 10 at a time and do a certain calculation. But I realized when you add a card, that would be the 11th card, and that one is not supposed to be paid for. So that's that's a free card because that's an actual hit. The Nidoran's a hit. All right, Zapdos, Vaporeon, Nidoran. As people order cards from that, it will make more sense over time. But essentially, it works like this. Uh, I take these hollows and I do a calculation after counting a certain number of them out, and then I take a prize card. It could be, uh, it could be a collectible card, or it could be uh, a really nice card. It could be a wigged pack. You guys know what those are. It could be a number of booster packs. So that's kind of how it works. It's basically like a mini version of the large custom boosters. That's what it is. This is for Andrew Edouard. Thanks for dipping your toes in the water there. Gave me a chance to talk about it. You're lonely. Lonely. I'm so lonely. Next up, we have James Corellis. He says, one hollow, one wigged. Shout out to my boys, Ian, Jackwit, and Mark in chat. Bag name, James Corellis. All right, so it's the same deal. Okay. So you pull a holographic Kangaskhan from the box. All right. One hollow, one wigged. First edition, Tentacool. Very cool. Tentacool, super cool. That was for James Corellis. James, James, James. James, James. I should have put like a hit card in the very front of the hollow box to make it make more sense but i don't want to give a false impersonation of it that it's like every every card you pull is going to be some sort of hit or something like that okay we'll put it back here japanese base set squirrel charming and worth grading uh no you should send it to me immediately because they're valueless austin anderson he says i need that gold shield dog sword and shield base please it looks like you ordered it five times let me look oh ten times right so hold on Sword and Shield base. Yeah, you ordered it 10 times. 10 Sword and Shield for Austin. Where do we have Sword and Shield base set? <laughs> Here it is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Ooh. So what would you guys like to talk about tonight? You guys want to talk about any special subjects? What's on your minds, guys? Tell me what's ailing you. Sneep. He says, that's me. Let's talk about peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly. Peanut butter jelly. Peanut butter jelly in a baseball bat. Sneep. Sneep. What's your credit score? That's a great question. I have no idea, but it's... 
I remember the last time I bought a car, they said it was extremely good. Can we talk about why I don't understand why I spend money on my on Pokemon cards? Well, I mean, why do you spend money on anything? So why? who needs a fancy car? Who needs good-looking clothing? Who needs a picture on their wall? Who needs a, a new bed or a new toy? It's a great question. Humans have infinite desires. That's the real reason you spend money on Pokemon cards. You like the way they look, and you like the fact that they have value as well. Let's talk about the Vito. Vito, is that like a new veggie burrito? The Vito? Hey, mister. Which do you think is more rare? Shiny Charizard from Shiny V, Hidden Fates, or Champion's Path? I would have to say the Shining Charizard from Neo Destiny is the rarest. That's probably what I think. We did yesterday Pokeverse. All right, here we go. We're opening up Stenny's Pokemans. You ready, Stenny? Here goes. Mister, my desire is Riley Reed. Ooh, I don't think you're going to get the, that need bet. Just pulled two Charizard Evolutions in a Kanto box. Nice, dude. Pokemon Cologne. Why are you smelling like Garbodor right now? <laughs> Let's sell Lego for bulk Pokemon cards. Let's see. One, two, three, four. It's Lapras VMAX. Oh, my God, man. All the girls are going to send. Pokemon, not really. I just said a random number. My evolution luck is awful. Yeah, some people really do be pulling out all the Charizards. We got Ordinary Rod. I smell like Pikachu tears when Ash was turned to stone. Do you burn all the energy? Uh, I try to burn as much of my energy each day by working out vigorously, but only my right arm. So put this over here. Three, four. Come on. Oh, it's a Sableye. I was going to say, it's, it's got to be the Gold Doggo, but it was not. Toss it over there. Do, 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 do. Three, four. Choodle. Choodle Poodle. He says, bro. <laughs> Pro, I got some money to spend. Where can I buy some of your cards? Uh, all the prices are in the description. You really need to read the whole process, okay? There's an there's a link to the instructions. You really have to read those instructions. Mister, have you ever done stand-up before? Uh, no, I have not. Oh, man. Oh, man. These Pokemans sometimes. How much is an ungraded Evolution Charizard worth fresh out of the pack? Two dollars. Ten bucks and I'll buy it, says John Lohman. All right, that was ten packs and two hits, which is exactly the pull rate that we anticipate. This goes into Stenny's bag. Stenny, is your bag actually going by Stenny? I think it is. I feel like I've seen Stenny a lot. All right, well, I haven't seen it there. All my energy is grass-type energy. Oh, I'm sorry. Ah, uh, yes. Stenny 2. So it does say Stenny 2 on your bag. And really, it needs to say your your real name. Ice cold, my feet are cold, socks 2. What are we talking about with the socks? Oh, where's my marker? Where's my magic marker? <gasps> it's gone! Where'd my marker go? Oh, no, guys. The kitty stole my marker. Oh, here it is. I found it. Kitty, you were this close. I was going to get rid of you. Now that I found my marker, you can stay. Oops. Okay. There we go. Woohoo! It just dropped to 70 to 35 in Texas in the span of an hour. You're talking about in terms of uh, temperature? Because that just happened where I live, too. It just got freaking cold outside. Like, it was warm all day today, and then, like, in a few hours, it got cold. Okay, next up, we've got Stephen Dam. Hey, mister, how's your day? Hope it's great. Seven wigged packs today. Love your stream. Been watching every day since, I don't know, three weeks now. Damn, dude. He bought seven packs, huh? You got it, Steven. Let's see what you get. Pack number one for Steven. Ooh. Wigged pack number 11. Two. That's Venonat from Tops. Three. 
Starmie GX. Four. Full Art Lady. Five. Raichu GX. Six. So this is Scissor Hollow, but it's actually from a set from 2012. It's really old. Uh, what was that, seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, look at that. Double dip. Five Shining Legends. Wow. Very good. So I'm going to have to go get those five Shining Legends out, and it's going to take a minute. We're also going to take a look at the uh, wig packs. Double dipping, huh? That's like a best case scenario. Pack number 11. Let's take a look at it. All right, so this is pack number 11. And we're going to start off by noticing that it has a number of vintage common and common. Those are always fun. We got some Delta Species. We always have some of these lovely energy cards and trainers. Uh, here's some Evolutions. Potion, Voltorb, Growlithe, Magneton. Hey, thanks for becoming a member, mister. Nine Tails, we got Flying Pikachu, Surfing Pikachu. Here comes Team Rocket, Executor, and Imakuni's Doduo. Here's Charmeleon. Oh, oh, he's got a big bend in him. Oh, I didn't notice that before. Oh, that makes me sad. I didn't know he had the bend in him. You know, when I make these, I make them very fast because I don't have a lot of time. Ah, he was supposed to be one of the cool hits. All right. Beldum, Matang, and Metagross. So these are all old. These are from 2010. Okay, so that's 2010 Beldum, Reverse Hollow, 2010 Matang, 2010 Metagross, and a Dark Rye EX. Oh, that makes me so bummed out. So it's a real thick pile, actually. And why don't I go ahead and place these in a sleeve for you? This vintage lot. What's the Sword and Shield Shiny Star Japanese pack look like? Could you show me? Uh, that would be improbable. Let's go get those hidden fates. I'm sorry, Shiny Legends. Where's Santa Russ? Ho, 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 it's me, Santa Russ. Process over here. Got too many of these Raichu cards, man. All right, five, Shining Legend. And we'll toss this as well. Ripped my chameleon. I'm sorry. <sighs> he was supposed to be like one of the good pulls in that round, so I was kind of disappointed too. Guess I'm gonna have to give you a... Well, let's see what you get out of the Shining Legends. How about that? Let's see what you get out of these beautiful Shining Legends. I have a feeling CG, CJ is a kid. I don't see Shining Legends on the list. How much are you selling it for? How's it going, Tenzenberg? So currently, Shining Legends are not available for sale. Uh, we sold some yesterday, and I have a limited supply of them, and I'm trying to control how quickly we run through them. Uh, and that's because I'm just sort of building up a, it's sort of like a backstop of uh, Shining Legends. And so Shining Le Legends will show up occasionally in the custom booster packs, and I might make them exclusive to the custom booster packs just for fun, just to make the custom booster packs feel a little more special when we pull Shining Legends out. But I'm not sure. People really like these. Oh, snap, dude. And this is why they really like it, pulling a full art Mewtwo. All right. Let's see what else is in here. I would too. It's so freaking rare. <laughs> Two, three, four. We've got Super Scoop. It's Super Scoop. Tasha, what's up, Tasha? Tasha Riley, but it's a boy's picture. Is there a way to pay with credit card or just PayPal? Just PayPal. PayPal will take credit card, though. So if you sign up for a PayPal account, it just takes your email, and you can connect your credit card to your PayPal account. So it's possible to connect your pay, uh, credit card. What do we got here? Torkoal Hoopa. Last pack. You've already got two out of two hits out of five packs, so I'd be surprised if this was a hit, but we'll have to see. Not this time. You end up picking up the Zorark and the Full Art Mewtubes. 
Hacker stole my name, so I changed. PayPal is your credit card. Super duper pooper scooper. What's the craziest card pull you opened for someone so far in your great career? Uh, the first edition, no hollow error, Dark Dragonite that came out of, out of a booster pack that also had the first edition holographic Dark Charizard. And the Dragonite ended up grading a 10, which makes it the third 10 in the world. So that would probably be the rarest thing I ever pull. It was pretty wild, actually. So, all of that was for Stephen Dam. Damn, Stephen. Stephen Dam. Here we are. Uh, your bag's a little thick now. Your little chubby cheeks now. I don't know what to do about it. What about the three shiny Zards for Space Knights? I mean, yeah, that's really cool. Uh, together, they might be worth... You know, they might be worth a little over $1,000 if all three of them graded 10. The uh, Whereas the first edition Dark Dragonite, in theory, he could be like $100,000. So he's pretty valuable. Von Doom pretty much got rich off of one card gamble. I'm pretty jealous. I was actually in that round. Like, I, I got a pack too. My pack was cold. Yeah, I was this close to being the guy who pulled it. <laughs> I think about it. It haunts me in my sleep. Joel Morin says, hello, Mr. Sneep. Can I get one shiny star and one hollow card? Okay. One shiny star. And one hollow card. That's going to be Pink Kirchen this time. Let's see what you got out of here. Von, Von Doom Deal. Sneep. What do we got? All right, he's got a bag. He told me that. Can I Venmo? Oh, snap. That's the Charizard. So from the code cards, that's the Charizard code card. People might grade these. I'm very curious if they do. We've got uh, Decidueye and Double. So far, nobody I know has asked me to grade that Charizard. Uh, but, you know, if you graded that and that did come back a 10, I wouldn't be surprised to see it going for, like... $50 even, which, if you think about it, is just a code card. So for it to go for like 50 bucks is ridiculous. Pays for the whole pack. That's for Joel. Let's find Joel. Joel, Joel, Joel. He's going to be in the J box. Which J box do I want to check? Let's check this one. Rupees. I want some rupees. Isn't that like what they have in that one video game? Joel, 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 Joseph, Jeff. All right, if we made it to Jeff, he's not in here. So we will check the J box down here, which is the other place I think he'd be. Look how full this is. Unfortunately, it's very full. It's very full and it's full of small bags. K's forever. So K's forever. We'll move him up top now because we're trying to make more room. Put him like there. Guess we might as well check this since we have it down anyways. Luxury TL's up here. Jo Joshua Kelly, Koki. Good to have a quick look at that before we proceed because good to know what's up top. Now, Joel Morin. We got Justin, Caleb. Here he is. Oh, with the lovely Charizard. All right. Now, I'd like to keep your Charizard in the front, but he's going to be safer in the middle. So we're going to place him in the middle. He says, stop attacking me. Oops. Let me have a sip here. <sighs> wow, guys, we're almost to 100 likes. Do you guys want to help me out on that? Excuse me. Okay. After Joel, we have Colin Connors. What's up, Colin? One large custom pack, two hollow packs, and live shipping for Colin Connors. I have a bag and the PSA 9 Charizard Brexton. Oh, thank you for all the details. So here is the custom pack. With Ralts, you got shiny Ralts in here. Wow, he looks good, well-centered. I wonder if he has a chance at the 10. And here we are once again with the holo packs. Or, yeah, the holo cards. That's a first edition Pillow Swine. And when you actually pull a hit out of here, it doesn't count. So I pull again. And you're going to also pull Frostmoth Hollow. So first edition Pillow Swine, huh? Hmm. 
I'm, I'm sort of judging myself, like how I feel about the poles to see if I need to make them hotter or colder. Uh, I'm leaning toward making them hotter. Okay, so that was for Colin Connors. He says, two hollow packs, live shipping for Colin Connors. I have a bag and the PSA 9 Charger Brexit. I would have just put the Charger Brexit away. Here's your bag. Where do they work at? Asking for a friend. What are you guys talking about? Mr. Please read. This is about my custom packs. They are Christmas present. I wish for you to have a very merry Christmas. What's up, Mary? Um, so you're wanting to send me some Pokemon cards. If you're wanting to gift me some cards, you can always uh, get my address from me in private on Discord, okay? Are those the hollows he pokes? Mr. I... Well, so the way... Let me explain it. Yeah, these are the hollows I bulk. All right, l let's just do this. Hold on. Okay, so this is what you're actually buying out. See this? This is actually a Japanese hollow, and this does not cost $5. Uh, and also, there's a Charizard GX, Charizard Champions Path. For, for uh, Champions Path, one breakpoint. So this is how this is actually working. And when you guys spend $5, I give you one of these. But it's not because I intend to make any money on these. I don't... Oh, well... See, again, here's one of those price cards. But these right here, I do not intend to make any money on these. These are just, you always get one. That's the concept here. So these are for free, in my mind. I don't I don't think of them as for sale. But what you're really trying to buy is one of these. That's the concept here. And uh, if you're lucky, you're the person who grabs it. Let's look a little ahead in the future here. Does this make sense to you? Two Hidden Fates. And, you know, you get uh, you get to bring home... This is actually vintage. You get to bring home a holo card as well, but you're really trying to hit one of the nice cards. There's some cards in here that are really nice. You know what? I'm not going to try and... I'm not going to try and pick it out, but what I am going to try and do now is go ahead and shuffle these slightly without injuring any of the cards. I have to be careful. So this is getting shuffled so that you don't know where anything's at. And that's the concept here. Now... The prices were all kind of decided by what I thought these were going for. Uh, the, the hit cards, they're calculated, right? So I go, I sell these normally for X amount of dollars, and then I divide that by the number of spots, and the number of spots will be the number of hollow cards in between uh, each of the hits, and then there's a little bit of a shuffle. Two hollow packs. Well, anyways, so it's a new idea, and I'm, I'm experimenting with it to see if you guys enjoy it or not. Uh, a large part of whether or not you'll enjoy it, it will be based on whether you feel like it's fun when you actually run into a really good card. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, I'm not... Uh, well, I'm worried now that people will think that they're buying hollow cards. The prize cards don't count as a pull. You keep going until you... Until our get a regular hollow. Mister, I'm Oliver. The SSV Charizard VMAX you pulled for me got a Beckett 10. Damn, dude. Very cool. SSV Charizard VMAX, huh? Awesome. Just have to mention there is a chase card. Yeah, so again, the the here's what I could have here's how I could have ran it. Um so I could have ran the exact same game, but instead of using hollow cards, I could have just used energy cards. And every time you buy, you would just flip over and you'd be like, ah, oh, I got a I got an energy card. Throw it away, right? But I thought in order to make it a little more fun. I'll dip into all these hollow cards I got sitting around because it could have been hollow, 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 hollow hit card, and the hit card was funded by these over here. Does that make sense? Um, but instead, I, I went with hollow cards, and it's not because I'm trying to sell them. It's because I'm trying to create a fun chase, kind of like a, just a, like a small custom booster pack, one that you could play for a much lower buy-in. Anyways, I'm done explaining it. Let me go get live shipping for Colin Connors. We're going to start by grabbing his PSA 9 charger to Brexit. PSA 9 charger to Brexit. Oops. Wow. I guess there was a few of these sold, huh? I thought that was the one. Give me a moment, I gotta find him. Uh, 
Yeah, if it's not very popular, I'll probably just get rid of it. We'll have to see. Man, is it really in the last pile? <laughs> yes. <coughs> it was in the last pile. All right, we found it. I went through like six piles of PSA cards to find the last. It was in the bottom of the last pile. Here it is. Mister, he got two hollow packs. He pulled one hollow. Oh, okay. I'm not sure if I messed that up or not. Oh, so right here, actually. Look at that. So, you know, basically what he just pulled here is eight sword and shield base packs. Okay. Does it make a lot more sense now? So... You're not really buying hollows. I just thought hollows would be nicer than if I put energy cards there because then at least you take home a hollow. Uh, and the hollows are meaningless to me because I didn't pay for them. But this is actually where the money goes. All right, let's get eight of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is what he actually just pulled there. All right, let's see. He says, thank God for that shuffle. <laughs> Sneep. 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 All right. Pack number one. We got Inteleon. Pack number two, that's green. Pack number three. Yeah, does it make does it make more sense now? I could have just used energy cards for people who do who get cold pulls, but I thought that what's the nicest thing I could do instead of energy cards? And I said, oh, why don't we go grab the hollow rares and give them uh, use them? All right, we've got Pokemon Catcher. That way, at least you have a chance to pull some kind of cute hollow. Energy cards with, yeah, energy cards would be extremely cold. And that's a greenback. All right, you end up pulling the Stonjourner and the Snorlax V, and I suspect that base set box is pretty hot right now. He says, ooh. Oh, actually, here, let me put this in first. Colin, uh, you didn't confirm your address. I don't know if I've shipped to you before. Mr. I opened some newly printed hidden tins card. The card quality was atrocious and the hits were barren. <laughs> you collect the energy cards. You have shipped me before. Ah, very good. Sounds good. Here we go. Yeah, so hopefully the the hollow card... Uh, what, what, what should I call them, actually? Yeah, maybe they make more sense now. Uh, the problem I'm feeling is people are going to say, oh, I take the hollow cards and resell them for $5. But that's not true. The $5 actually go toward funding something like eight booster packs, right? That's actually what's going on. Uh, but I can't make, I can't name the game. Um, I don't know what to name the game then. Maybe I need to just rename it. All right, Colin, he says I've shipped them before. Yeah, maybe I just need to rename it to something that makes more sense. All in Connors. Sweet. Your address starts with one eight. That's the address I'm sending to. You're going to the bathroom. You know what I'm just gonna call them? I'm just gonna call them the small custom booster. That's all I'm gonna call them. Real simple. Very simple. All right. Let's go get this shipped out. Wigged mystery. What? What are you talking about? All right, I need a small box for this, I think. We're gonna use a Champion's Path box, I think. Sure love these ETBs for shipping, they're awesome. Oh, do you 
tires. Okay, I need a white envelope. These envelopes cost me like 50 cents each time. The big ones. I hate using them so much, but they do such a good job. They make the shipping real fast too, you know? I like to keep the cards safe. All right, Colin, your cards are shipped. Let's see who's next. I just took a fat dookie. Woohoo! Fat dookie time. Next up, we have Alexander. He says, two large customs and a shiny star. All right. One with goodbye. Oh, my God. And two Pikachus. Those are actually pretty cute. Let me give you those. And Reggie, Reggie Gigas. This is a promo card. It comes from the Darkrai, uh, yeah, Darkrai Umbreon. What was it called? Tag Team Power Set or something like that. Oh, and that's two Charmanders. Look at that. Perfect. So he's actually pretty interesting. I could have graded that card and I chose not to. Sometimes I have too many cards to grade. I can't handle it. Okay, so that was for Alexander Ross. Oops. No epic snipe this time. Probably because it's going to be the next guy. That's how it always goes. Who are we tag teaming? Oh my god. Wink! Dude, men are so much dirtier than girls. Let's see. He also wants the shiny star. I forgot about that. Give me a second. Do we have shiny star? All right. Last box of shiny star coming out right now. After this, I'm sold out. I'm a girl, though. <laughs> Mr. Girls have the same combos, but in private. I don't know. I don't know. You really think so? I don't know if girls are as pervy as men. I think men definitely rank higher in the pervy scale. Ow. Girls are all like, oh, true love, blah, blah, blah. Boys are all like, bitch, what are you doing over there? Boys are all like, like that, you know what I mean? The girls aren't like that. Some girls are, but I'm just saying, probably an average population, analysis of the average population would show you that the boys are pervier. Not the girls I know, says Goblin. Gr Goblin, you don't know any girls. Sh shut up. Here we go. <laughs> I'm just teasing you. All right. <laughs> we have... Oh! Santa Scorch VMAX. <laughs> He's got the rope. I'm just teasing, man. I'm just teasing. Based gay Zubat. <laughs> what is a based gay Zubat? Zubat. Oh, man, this bag's quite full. Alberto. What's up, Alberto? Alberto. Woo! Steven, Joel, Colin, Alexander, Tammy Lowe. Hey, mister. Three wigged packs. My bag should be up top. Tammy, how do you do this? Tammy, I have a suspicion you have a good chance of a hit. It's the next card. Tammy, I swear to God. Your timing is impeccable, Tammy. One, two. He says, okay, I made a PayPal with my credit card and found your name on there. Can I make an order if I press send money after calculating what I want? Also, I sent a Discord method. Yes. Sounds like you did everything you're supposed to do, mister. So now you just make an order, and you basically, you wait your turn for your cards to be opened. And that's how the whole thing works. Jirachi is Jirachi. All right. So that's three packs. Very good. Oh, oops, 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 oops. Ah, oh, goddammit. The empty pack's kind of falling out there. Did my music really pause? God, I hate that. To save on bandwidth, we've paused. Uh, play my music. So Tammy Lowe says, I have a bag up top. Let's find out what PSA 7 is. Are you ready? PSA 7. It's not a super expensive card this time, but it's a pretty cool card. 
So that's going to be a fire energy card from the first edition base set. Oof. I figure some people would like to have their very first card from the original base set from 1999. Oops. If it's first edition, I'm okay with that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, it's, it's cool. I think some people are intimidated by the base set, and they say, I'm never going to buy a card from base set, you know, because they're like, it's too expensive. So here's a lovely card. It's your first one from the base set. And uh, it's not terribly expensive, but it's still pretty cool. We're going to put your name on the back. It's pretty cool, and I'm pretty sure you'd be able to sell it for some money anyways. So, Tammy, whenever you do live shipping or whenever you make a post in the free shipping channel, you need to remind me that you have this card now. And you said your bag's up top. Tammy with the snipe, huh? What the heck time, Tammy? Tammy, have you even missed one time? I don't think Tammy's missed even one time. Tammy, I think I might have put you in the new bag, the new box. We got a new overflow box for, for people with T in the name right here. Tammy Lowe, right here. Damn, that's thick. What the hell? You got that Dark Raichu from Legendary Collection? I think I'm going to have to confiscate that Dark Raichu. Can you show me some graded cards you are selling? I would like to buy one. Uh, so we have a few cards on the table that are for sale. And they're a little they're a little pricey, so people haven't been buying them very quickly. But that's okay. We've got PSA 10 Espeon EX from Breakpoint. It's a really fancy card. This is a cool card. This is the Moltres Zapdos Articuno from Hidden Fates. And he's, uh, you get this out of the ETB. And the ETBs now are like a hundred something dollars. And you're not guaranteed he'll pull a 10 or anything. Here's Q Cubone from Team Rocket Returns. Um, he's not for sale anymore. I actually just want him to go back to the Team Rocket box. I'll just leave the sticker on. Who cares? He was just for sale for one day for fun. All right. We've got Charizard Brexen for 300 Uh, This guy is also not for sale anymore. This is the Team Rocket Return Snorlax. We were just having some fun. Uh, here's Sylveon for 340 from Hidden Fates. That's a really nice card. Shining Arceus from the Shining Legends Collection for 250 Greninja from Forbidden Light for 250 And Eevee Snorlax. Excuse me, for PSA 10, $460. I wanted to buy that card for $20. What card for $20? I, it costs $20 just to get a card graded quickly. Or not quickly, but get a card graded. So let's see. After Tammy, we have... It's Jeremy. What's up, Jeremy? Four packs of Unis and one pack of Cream Siege for my boy Pokeman619. Sounds good. Unis! He says Snorlax for 460. That's right. I'll change my price if he's gotten cheaper. Yeah, it's expensive to get a card very quickly. That other PSA Snorlax graded card you had out. You wanted to buy him for 20 bucks? He's, he's not a $20 card. 20, you'll wait about a year. <laughs> yeah. You'll wait like that's enough time to have a baby. He says, I think those are a little high by 10 to 15%. Hey, maybe you're right. Place this right here. Uh, the prices are calculated based off of the cheapest buy it now on eBay. So let's go check the Sylveon, for example. I don't have a lot of time to price cards. So I just look up how much it would cost you to get on the internet and look up the price of that card and buy them right now. All right, so uh, he's actually gone up in price. The cheapest one on eBay used to be $340, but it's gone now. So the cheapest one on eBay is now $375 uh, plus $2 in shipping, which would actually make it $377. So that's the cheapest one on eBay right now. And we will actually go raise the price of the Sylveon because the price has changed online. And if that price goes down online, I'll also lower my price. 
So it goes both ways. Okay, who are we opening for? We're opening for Jet 69, four packs of Unis, and one Steam Siege uh, for Gordafo. <laughs> Where's my Steam Siege? We'll start out with the Unified Minds. You heading out? Have a nice night, Alberto. Sleep. He says, did I just get some cream? You just got some cream, dude. You just got creamed by Jet69. Mr. Can I? All right, here we go. Can you finance my... I don't know. Can I? Can you finance my Japanese base at Venzor? What do you mean by that? Mister, how much is the wig packs? I can't find that on the description. Oh, the uh, the live custom boosters. There's a large one and a small one. The large ones are $20 and the small ones are $5. The small ones are brand new. I introduced them today. Uh, they were, they're very different. All right, let's see. That's a green back. Young Goose. It's Young Goose. He's so young. That's a green back. Oh, man. Was that three greenbacks? We need a hot pole. Marowak. Do you even have a Venusaur or just those Zards? Do I even have a Venusaur or just those Zards? I don't know what you're talking about. Wow. So that was really cold, mister. Let's get a pity pole from Cheese's bag for him. So this is Cheese's bag, and Cheese donated his cards for pity poles. It's all gone now. That was the last pity pole from his bag, and that's going over to Jet69. Kano Zone. Huh, I thought Jess, Jess 69 was up here. Jess 69, where am I going to find you? Am I going to find you over here? Wait, is he... Is he in the cat room? I might have moved your bag to an overflow place. Here it is, I found it. I did move it to an overflow place. He says, what about the cream? We're not done yet. We gotta take care of one person at a time. So it's just 69, and now we're gonna have one Cream Siege, which is right here, and this is going right over to uh, Gordafo. Trying to remember what the beginning of this name started with. It started with them. Nice, dude. A Veltal Break, beautiful card. Try Canadian card stores, hidden face, ETB, and Missy. What? What is he saying? Okay, let's find Pokemon 619. Here we are. Oh, we got his best card up front. Obviously, it's the Misty. She's very embarrassed. Misty? Step bro, what are you doing? That's what her face says. Step bro, what are you doing? Next up, we have Cody. What's up, Cody Goshenauer? He says, three wig packs and live shipping, book box, two bags, if you haven't shipped yet, with free shipping, 130 Pheasant Lane Road. All right. So it sounds like you want your book box as well. Uh, let's find out. Let, we got a large order here, guys. Let's get it all put together. So first, the three wig packs. All right, pack number one is going to be a collection of vintage common and commons. That one's already sleeved up. Let's sleeve these up as well. That's pack number one. Pack number two. This is actually Laron, level 32, from a set from the year 2007. So this card is quite old. It's like from a, an era of card collecting that I was not part of, but I recognize it as vintage anyways. Last pack. Last pack. Last pack is a group of hollows. So this is, this is what a cold pack looks like, but you got some nice holographics out of it, I suppose. How much for live shipping to Canada? It's always $6, but you also do have to pay the $13 international shipping fee. So altogether, for live shipping out to Canada, it would be $19. Which actually... Nah, it's still a lot. I was going to say something else. <laughs> Minecraft, he says, you mean reverse hollows. Right, 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 reverse hollows. Cody, let's find Cody's bag. Where would I place Cody? So Cody says... Two bags. All right. Two bags, huh? Let's try looking for Cody's two bags. He says, if you haven't already shipped. It's a little confusing of a message. Why would I have already shipped? Did, like, did I send you a message that I already shipped? 
Or did you order live shipping? We'll go on a goose hunt. Let's see what happens. Alex PSX, Blake. So you'll know when I ship you because you either ordered live shipping like you did now, or you'll receive a message from me saying I, I free shipped you. So if you haven't received that message, then you haven't gone out yet. Okay, we'll check over here. So we're gonna spend a lot of time and we're gonna find all of his stuff. Okay, so you didn't have anything over here in this overflow. I'm gonna check the side, oh, oh my God. I'm knocking over this bulk pile, ugh. You guys ready for a sacrifice? Terraria is better than Minecraft, there I said it. <laughs> a little confusing, Cody. Let's... I haven't found either of your bags. Let me check up top now. Chris. Akudesu. Mr. Try Fantasy Star. Hello, Mr. I want to keep the Charger code for my order. Hold on. Let me do one thing at a time, okay? You're going to have to tell me again when it's your turn. I had two bags, one with his and one with some bulk. Okay. And, and so you're saying I had, okay, I know what you're talking about then. So then we're just looking for your one hit bag is what we're really doing here. You have one hit bag and you've got bulk. That's what you're trying to say. So we need to look for both of those things. So it's not gonna be up here. Unfortunately, there's quite a few. Here we go. We got Cardi, gosh, an hour right there. So there's your hit bag. And now we're gonna look for your bulk baggies. I'm going to check the shelf to see if I actually made an official box for you first. Sometimes I don't make a box because people do exactly what you just did. They ship before they're even using the box. So I do not see a Cody, which means you're probably going to have some bulk in the other room. Give me one moment. Look who it is. Hey. You what? Oh, you still making music? Quip's making music, guys. All right, Cody. I got Cody Goshenauer and Cody Gotcha. I believe those are yours. Put these hits in your bag here. Is anyone getting Pokemon cards for Christmas? I'm getting hella Pokemon cards for Christmas. Go ahead and fold this up a few times. You got an Evolutions ETB for Christmas. What? Okay, set that there. Now, we're going to be using a Champion's Path box to ship you. So here's what's happening, Cody. You never bought a, you bought a bulk box, but you didn't really get a full use out of it. So what I'm gonna do for you, we're gonna go ahead and fill this ETB up with bulk to make sure that you get plenty of bulk. So I'm gonna do you a favor and baggy these two because it'll make it easier to pull them back out. Sorry guys, I know you, you want to get back to pack opening, but we're going to get Cody taken care of first. All right, so we're adding some bulk to your box just to make sure you get your money's worth. Elohim is a god. What? What are you guys talking about? Okay, we'll put that there. There we go. And uh, we'll just sprinkle a few more in there just to wedge everything down. This makes everything a little tighter, right? 
We like things when they're tighter. All right, so there's your box. I need to go ship it. I'll be right back. We're gonna get the label first. I think we shipped you before. Yes, we did. All right, we're gonna say the padded envelope, right? He says, I don't mind mildly loose. <laughs> That's very open-minded of you. <laughs> Run over here. Well, let's just keep moving then. Let's just keep moving. Cody says thanks. No problem, Cody. Oh, I remember what it is. I remember. Here it is. So now I throw this away. Oh, don't you fall over. Mister, what great Charizards do you have for sale? Uh... I do have one Charizard for sale right now, if anyone's interested. He might end up going into one of the games anyways. But this gives you a chance to buy him ahead of time. Here we are. So we have a $300 Charizard Brexton Cosmic Eclipse. Pretty cool. Just placed my first order with you. Wish me luck, guys. Says Ace Trainer. What's up, Ace Trainer? So let me jump over here and refresh the list. I'm gonna give you guys, I'm gonna tell you who's in the list uh, just for fun, because I think you guys like to hear your names shouted out. So we got Say Big Mattress, Jeremy, Ra Raul, Henry, Justin, Andrew, Joel, James, John Loman, Andrew Edward, Johnny Pyrus, Vincent Poff, Eric Beltron, Benjamin Goff, Nerdy Noob, Luke Harshaw, Cody Goshenauer. That's the one we just did. So Luke, Harsh Luke Harshaw is next. Luke wants one darkness ablaze. All right. Oh, is that all you wanted? I contact you, contacted you through Discord about my messages not being seen by anyone. Just letting you know again. No problem. We'll have to take a look at that, but I can't do that live, okay? Let's go ahead and open up this darkness ablaze. He says, I ordered a while ago. It says, Alpha Runaway. Alpha Runaway, sometimes the wait time is an hour long. Uh, did you hear your name get mentioned? Let's see. Let me just make sure nobody's been missed. Steven Dam, James, Andrew, Carl, Robert, Sven, Andrew, Alexander. Yeah, we didn't miss anybody. So you're just waiting your turn, mister. That's how it works. Sometimes you've got a lot of people ahead of you who want to open up cards, and you have to let them go first because they ordered first. Trunk wants to give the people 2000 bucks and will not sign the relief bill till that is done. He says 600 is not enough and to give us 2 k All right. You know what that means, guys. We're going to have to do a box break. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Now that I know people are going to get 2K, we're going to do a box break. What are you thinking, Fossil? I'm thinking Fossil. I think he just means he didn't hear his name. He didn't hear his name. Luke, you got a cold pull. Next up, we got Nerdy Noob. Nerdy Noob says, I have a box in a bag. It's up top. One shiny star V. All right, where's my shiny star? So I believe these are actually the last shiny stars that I have. And then I'm out. We have more on the way. Once these are gone, you'll appreciate them more. One shiny star. One custom booster. One small custom. Okay. Oh! Hitting the hit pole, huh? Five shining legends. How about that? All right. So you're going to get five shining legends. I have to go to the cat room to go get these shining legends. I'll be right back. Look out, kitty. Oh, 
Okay, we brought out some more Shining Legends. We have to get them out of the box. We also have to get your small custom. Okay. He says snipe question mark. This is actually a snipe. He sniped five packs of Shining Legends. But not every round is going to be a snipe. So we got your your Shining Legends. And we've got this guy. Now for your, your small custom booster. Are you ready? So the small custom booster is pretty uncomplicated. We just take one card and flip it over. In this case, it's King is gone. So that's a cold pull. Oops. Ooh. He says, well, there goes my order. What is he talking about? So before we continue, Alpha Runaway, what's your what's your PayPal name? Let's figure this guy out. Alpha Runaway, what's your what's your PayPal name? How's it going, Crystal? He really wants me to say hi. Alpha Runaway, I'm just waiting for you to mention uh, what what your PayPal name is so I can look you up. I'm looking at the screen right now so I can see your answer. Bailey. Okay, thank you. Let me go look up Bailey. I do not see any Bailey in here. I'll try searching for Bailey. Uh, Bailey. Let's see. Uh, two weeks ago, I got an order from Bailey Stanley. Other than that, there are no orders from Bailey. So I think you believed that you had an order with me, but you actually do not have an order with me. All right, and that's why you didn't hear your name called out. Okay, let me jump back down. Who are we taking care of? We were taking care of Nerdy Noob, who has a box. All right, there are no orders from Bailey, and uh, so you might... You might have mistakenly believed you sent the order in, but it hasn't been sent in. So now you don't have to feel any more stress because you know what's going on. Let's see what we got. Sneep. He says, can I battle with you? All right, I'm getting my Pokemons out right now, mister. We got Zorora, Marshadow. Oh. What do we got here? Nice, Corsola. I think I said that right. Beautiful. Holy moly, the spam. Can the mods do their job? So, Chris, Crystal, you don't want to spam, okay, Crystal? Because you get the spank. You don't want the spank. Mister, you should add a pedigree option for CGC to say it was pulled on a TCC stream. Huh. Wow, that would be really interesting. If they actually offered that, I would definitely, I would definitely want to be able to add that. What'd you get? Nice, a full art Mewtwo. And this one's looking pretty well centered all the way around. Maybe a little thinner on the right. Let me check the back. Yeah, it is thinner on the right, unfortunately. Still a really nice pull. If that ends up being a nine, I think you'll still make a little bit of money on them. Okay, and that's your Shining Legends pulls. Awesome. Oops. Sweet. I'm a mystery flavor kind of guy. How much money is that custom? Gordon, mister, give me a shout out. All right. We'll go ahead and write down Nerdy Noob's name. Nerdy Noob. Nerdy Noob. And we'll find Nerdy Noob's bag up top. Did he say his bag is up top? He did say his bag is up top. Mister, explain the stimulus situation, please. Uh, they tried to pass a stimulus for $600 that everyone would get. And then Donald Trump said, nah, I'm going to veto that unless it's 2000 So, and that's where we are. So, basically, they're probably going to keep fighting. And, or, you know, our, they'll keep debating what how much should be in the stimulus package. And who knows? Maybe you'll end up with 
a $2,000 check if you're a taxpayer. Mike Spanos. Does it go to everyone? How does it get distributed? Ninja Bread. Hmm. I didn't see Nerdy Noob. Nerdy Noob, make a note. You probably have multiple bags, Nerdy. Actually, we'll check over here, too. Jet. Andrew. Christian Moss. So what might have happened, Nerdy Noob? Your bag probably got moved to the cat room because we were running out of room. Because we have too much overflow. So, Nerdy Noob, you're going to have a new bag. And uh, all you got to do is, when it's time to ship, tell me you have two bags, okay? It's going to be decided tomorrow. Nice. Kitty's cards now. It's Kitty's cards. After Nerdy Noob, we have Benjamin Goff. Hey, mister, can I get five vivid? You got it, Benjamin. One, two, three, four, five. Sweet. Does Kitty get a pack? That's right. Kitty always gets a pack. Do we need to be a member to purchase pack? Oh, no. Anyone can purchase pack. Stim check specials. Everything is $2 more. That's right. Everything's $2 now. Mister, can you say hi to my friend Miko Rizzo? Like the stream, 200 likes equals free packs. <laughs> All right, good luck to Benjamin. Benjamin. Oh, oh my God, dude. These bulk piles are just falling over now, guys. Give me a second. It's really bad. I don't know what to do. Clean my bulk up, I suppose. All right. Dude. All right, so what do we got? Yeah, and Mega, huh, it's so weird. I feel like this artwork was an older artwork and they just reused it. Huh, I feel like I just saw this artwork in an older set. Leading Tower of Bulk, no bueno. Here's a greenback. Two, three, four. T Tornadus. Here's a white bag. Kitty's over here now. What are you doing over here, Kitty? Ooh, Drapion V. You got Yugi cards. I got Phantom Rage that you can open. Five for, is it five for $16? They're pretty cheap. After they run, oh, nice. Samazenta, amazing rare. After they run out, I'll probably offer whatever the latest Yu-Gi-Oh set is. Donate my bulk to an orphanage. Bleep, bleep, bloop, bloop. Hello, orphanage. I'd like you to take all my bulk. Swoobat and Zygarde. Sweet. Donate to hospitals. I think both of those are great ideas. Mr. pulled that full art espion from Breakpoint today, and it looks crispy. Nice, dude. So that was for Benjamin, and I know exactly where you're at, Benjamin. You're over... Actually, do I know where you're at? Yeah, you are. You're right here. Dude, your bag's getting pretty large, too. You could easily go into the overflow box at this point. Kitty's doing that gargoyle move that cats do. You, ever know, you know what I'm talking about, where they, like, hang off the edge like they're Batman? Let me show you. See, she's hanging over the edge. Why do cats do that? Kitty is bad man, that's right. She hears me saying her name. Eric Eric says, happy holidays, mister. Let me get two rigged packs, three hidden fates. I need some shiny Pokemon under my Cremus tree. Cremus tree? You mean your Trevenant tree. Here we go. Okay, so these are empty now. Um, and I need to set this box somewhere. Probably send it over here. Now we start the next box. Eric Beltran. Two rigged packs. One. Ooh, Nido Queen. That's Japanese holographic Nido Queen. And pack number two. Mr. Mime from Team Up. Cool. Mr. Mime from Team Up. Mom! Oops. Set that over there. Eric. He also wants three hidden fates. Do we have three hidden fates already, maybe? We, in fact, we do. So we don't have to open a new tin because we're going to use an old tin. Will you have Christmas Day off? 
that's a great question. What do you guys think? You think I should take the day off or do you think I should come hang out with you guys? Let me ask you guys a question. If I streamed on Christmas Day, you think you'd still end up popping over here and watching some Pokemon cards get opened? Do you ship unopened packs? Uh, it's, yeah, I think I could do that. If you really wanted me to. Kind of negates the whole point. The whole point is that you're opening them live here, but yeah, I could probably send them to you sealed if you really want me to. Brock's training and Jesse James. You have a sickness. Who's got a sickness? Are you down with it? Coughing. Oh my God, dude. 24 hour stream, let's go. Shiny Inke on the third pack. Ooh, he's so shiny. He got the cough, cough. <laughs> Blubber, okay. That was for Eric Beltran. Eric, Eric, Eric. Where would I put an Eric? Eric would go in the e-box. Mister, what are you doing on Christmas? Well, I have two presents for my wife, and she will open them up and be like, oh, I love you. And then whatever I feel like after that. I mean, I don't actually have any plans. I suppose what I could do tomorrow I could go to the grocery store and put together like a sort of feast, but I'm eating real healthy lately. So I don't really, I don't really feel like feasting. And I, I, she doesn't have a big appetite either. She's real, Quip is real thin. She doesn't eat a lot. So she doesn't need a feast. So we might just chill out, watch a movie or something, um, or even just work. She's been having a lot of fun. I bought her a Christmas present that she's already using. I bought her an iPad. And that's because she's really into like making her own music right now. Uh, and she's making music music in GarageBand on her iPod, iPad, and she's been doing it, uh, like, ever since she got on vacation. So she's really hooked right now. And uh, so she might want to do that and just enjoy her new, her new toy. She's, like, addicted to it right now. <laughs> it's a good thing. It means I picked out a good present for her. Eric is done. Vincent Poff is next. He says, two random hollows and one wigged pack snipe. Please, mister. All right. One wigged pack for Vincent Puff. Picking up the Vicavolt. Put this back. He says, I'm having some seafood. All right, and then for the hollows, we have Arxult and Melodic. I have tutorials I can send you. I don't know what he's talking about. One wig pack. I've got a bag. All right, Vincent. <laughs> no heavy pulls here this time, Vincent. Vincent Poff. Vincent Poff, are you still going by? Yeah, we, we changed your name over. Very good. Use her iPad for music. I ordered some lobsters, but they died on the way. Oh, that's sad. You ordered some lobsters, but they died on the way. Ableton is a music production software. I produce music. Oh, that's cool, man. Um... You know what I need to get her next is like a girlfriend who also likes to make music so they can make music together. That'd be cool. My wife and I decided we're going to get belligerently drunk on Christmas. Sweet. Johnny Pyre says one shiny star V. Okay. This is another pack battle with Andrew. Oh, in that case, we need to remove these so there's no confusion. This is Johnny Pyre's Andrew Edward. One shiny star versus Johnny and John. Oh, okay. So this is Andrew. And then John Loman would like one shiny, one shiny star for the pack battle. Sweet. Here goes. Who did I say this was? Johnny Pyers. Let's find out what you got, Johnny. Saw your picture. Quit blind. Just, just funny. Hey, <laughs> I tell her every day that I love her. Piers, you're going to do well, mister. Let's find out what you really got, though, before we get two hypers. All right, so you got Grimmel Snarl V Shiny. All right, so I'd say you're in the lead right now, and you might steal their cards. He says, I knew it was you. Johnny Pyres, everyone. Next up, we have the guy in the middle, Andrew Edouard. He says, it's over. <laughs> says looking for that shining zard you never know uh in theory this is valuable i don't i don't really know dragapult ditto 
So I would say the code card probably has some value, but I don't think that the code card is going to be more valuable as a gradable card. Believe it or not, you could probably grade this Pikachu card. But I don't think it'll be more valuable than an actual hit pull like the shiny Grimmel Snarl. So I'm going to say he's still holding it. Maybe it's time. One more time going deep. <laughs> You're still going deep. Just one more. Just one more. I can quit any anytime I want to. <laughs> Step, mister. That's right. All right, and the last person is John Loman. Hello, mister. I wigwet being late. What's up, Amber? Miftool. What do we got? Rillaboom and Eldegoss. All right, so the winner definitely, as we thought, was Johnny. Congratulations to Johnny Pyres. Wow, Johnny. Johnny, you're basically your pokey rich from these pack battles. All right, we can put these back up now. Once these are gone, we're sold out. And Johnny Pyres, where would I put your bag, you think? I think I'd put it here. Joel, James, Justin, Caleb. Jewelry, James. We really do not have enough room for everyone who has J in the name. We might have to create another overflow box. Keller Smith. Oh, we've got two bags for James Corellas, apparently. Interesting to note. I think we have two Hugh Gonzalez as well. It's interesting to note. Ah, where is Johnny? Johnny over here. We got Jet. We got Andrew. Christian Moss. Bryant Lewis. <laughs> Where is he? <laughs> so he wasn't in that overflow box. We didn't see him in there. He's got to be up top or something, right? Oh, he's right in the front. I'm an idiot. All right. So, Johnny, you've been doing very good. You keep winning these pack battles, man. You're going to be pokey rich. Uh, I'm going to go mark Shiny Star as sold out because I suspect people are trying to buy the rest of it. So we're going to go mark it as sold out. All right, no more orders for Shiny Star, guys. They are sold out. Those ones you see on the table, somebody probably already bought them, okay? Because there's, there's always a line of people. All right, let me jump over here. Johnny Pyers, Andrew Edward, Johnny Loman, James Corellas. One wig pack, bag name James. All right. One pack, pull and muck and a low and muck. Muck and a low and muck. For James Corellas. Where would we find James Corellas at? I remember if I put him up the bottom or the top. You know, I feel like I need to do a better calculation for the uh, the large custom booster packs because, you know, well, let's see how much the muck and low and muck goes for. I realize I could probably just sell him. I kind of did not want to know this, but now I'm looking it up. What is that from? That's from Unbroken Bonds for sure. All right, it's not crazy. So it's like it's like three to four dollars. That makes me feel better because you know if he's going for like five bucks, I'm really miscalculating because let's say let's say there's ten large custom boosters and I sell them for twenty dollars each. Then I, I in my mind I believe I'm working with two hundred dollars, which is actually closer to eighteen dollars. It's actually more like one hundred and eighty dollars after PayPal fees. But if I'm also losing out on five dollars per you know muck alone muck, I slide into there as the the extra pull, the, the cold pull, then this adds up to a really low amount, actually. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's definitely interesting. It's funny because I work much harder on the large customs than I used to with those old reserve lists, and I make less money, too. It's, uh... That's not good. 
I'm just thinking about it. I, I work harder on them and I make less money on them. In other words, if I didn't have them at all, let me let me help you guys understand. If I didn't have the custom boosters at all, and I just sold sealed product, I you know, that's sealed by Nintendo, I would get my time back. And I'm pretty sure the profit margin is like more consistent. And I think it's actually better than the custom boosters. I think the custom boosters might be too generous. That's what I'm thinking. Let me go ahead and have a sip right here. He says they're fun, though. That's true. Part of the reason that they're fun, though, might just be because they're too generous. Pokemon 619 says, I don't think people take into consideration the fees you pay, mister. Oh, yeah, so, you know, if it's a... Uh, I can actually show you. Actually, uh, if, it's, if it's about $20, I would either actually get $19 or about $18. I don't know what causes it to sometimes be $18. I think it's people who use, like, a credit card through PayPal. There's a much larger fee. And uh, it's probably set by the actual credit card company, company if I had to guess. So it says $20, but it actually comes in at $18. And then let's say I put in actually a pretty decent cold card in there. Let's say I put something in like Charizard GX uh, from Hidden Fates. Well, I could have just sold him if I really wanted to. I could sell him in a big lot. And I think those go for like five bucks, maybe. I, I'm just guesstimating. Actually, I don't know how much he goes for. I've never looked this stuff up. I'm, I'm just going to educate myself real fast. So the hidden promo Charizard, right? I just assume. Here we go. Charizard hidden fades promo. So he's going for... Oh, that's the, that's the jumbo. Oh, okay. So this guy is actually going for whopping $7. So that's the cheapest one. So if I'm just throwing those in willy-nilly um i could have actually sold them i don't know how i feel about that i think the reason that i just throw them in willy-nilly is because i take them out of the tins when you guys order hidden face cards so in my mind i'm just giving them back that's what i that's how i view it i view it as giving it back um but man they actually have a cost don't they they actually have a value very interesting Maybe I will maybe I will make them into more of a price themselves. Lord Drifloon says, I just hope they keep them in good condition. Doubt it though. Yeah, the one you buy when you get them from me, you know that they haven't been messed around with by a kid, because they just sit on a shelf. Do you have any of the Hidden Fates ETB promo birds cards that you'd sell individually besides the PSA one? Uh no, I only have the PSA one, unfortunately. What's up, Funky Fluffy? Alright, so where are we? We just finished James Corellis. Let's do Joel next. He says, I'll take one large custom booster and one hollow mister, and I do have a bag. And by the way, my name for YouTube is Antiques Pokey Days. Oh, nice. Nice to meet you, Joel. Let's get you that one large. Let's start there. One large. Oh, and it is a hit, in fact. Wig number three, huh? All right. So wig number three, let's find that real fast. Here it is. Any PSA cards from 2010 available? Um, I don't think so, but I'm, I'm gonna be getting some PSA cards back soon. So start out with some bulk. Look at that, that's a Bulbasaur. He's looking pretty clean on the front and he's from 2004. Let's get him sleeved up for you. He's a little more worn out on the back. Very interesting. So you got a little lovely Bulbasaur. Some energy cards. So here we go. Aegislash EX, Absol, Mega Absol, Mega Ampharos, First Edition Machamp from Base Set, Him on Top Hollow from Neo, uh, Jolteon is pretty worn out from Jungle, and Japanese uh, Weezing, as well as this, I don't know what this is. Is that like Team Aqua or something like that? Another Weezing. This is from 2012. So that's Wig Pack 3. Woohoo! We'll set that there. What else did he want? One wig, pack, bag name. Oh, I'm sorry. It was uh, Joel Morin. He wants one hollow, and I do have a bag. And by the way, mine. Oh, okay, here we go. So, one hollow. Corviknight. All right, Corviknight. 
Andrew Edwards taking a risk. He says 20 hollow cards, small wigged, question mark. Sorry, not sorry, mister. Andrew taking a risk. Andrew, this is great actually because it allows me to understand whether or not there's uh, good enough prizes or the prizes need to be increased. But first, let's get this into Joel's bag. Joel, Joel, Joel. Place this up here. I'll have an impression of it. I mean, obviously, it's, it's possible for somebody to have bad luck. But with you ordering so many of them, you would expect some kind of return for your purchase. Joel. Where's Joel? James. Joel. Joel Morin. Here we are. Joel Morin, you went from having a real thin bag to now having a thick bag. And we're going to put this lovely... What should we put in the front? I'm going to put the Jolteon in the front just because the Jolteon from Jungle is so cool to look at. I really like looking at him. All right. He's a little messed up. He's he's played. Played condition. So Andrew wants 20 of these. One, two, three, four. All right. You pull Lapras Fossil. Five, six, oops, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, three team up, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Ah, that definitely felt cold. That didn't feel like that good of a run. I wonder if it's possible that when I shuffled the pulls... So, yeah, hmm. I wonder if shuffling actually... Let's see when the next hit is. So there's Dracovish, 21, 22... If we did that extra shuffle. I'm, I'm worried that maybe he's just got bad pulls at this point. Tyranitar. Mm. There's a lot of hollows before the next hit. Okay, so that's holographic Gyarados. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. I might have to. I might have to tinker around with these. So I tell you what I'm gonna do. Let me put these up top. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What I'm going to do, I'm going to I'm gonna turn them off. I'm not going to allow them to be for sale for now until I tinker with the uh, pull rate. It's actually harder than it looks, guys. We're going to call these sold out for now. If anyone bought theirs, uh, I can still pull. Uh, but we're not going to sell any more from this point. And Andrew, let me get you three team-ups real fast. But I tell you what, just for fun... Let's make it, uh, let's see. So the Lapras Gyarados. Let's make it six team up. It didn't really feel like a hit, did it? I wonder if maybe I was calculating wrong. You know, I was doing it like as fast as possible before we started. And it seems like there's too many hollows in between. I, well, before you guys... Keep in mind, when we started, and I was trying to explain them to you guys, what happened was, I was sort of forced to shuffle them again before we started pulling from them again. And so this could have actually disrupted the pull rate of the cards unintentionally. Like, for example, the next guy who purchased a hollow instantly pulled the five Shining Legends. So, was it five Shining Legends? I don't remember now. Oh, no, it was eight. It was eight sword and shield base set. Was it eight? Yeah, I don't know. I'll think about it. All right, here we go. Yeah, I'll think more about how to make the hollow thing more fun. Sneep. Sneep. I like the concept behind it because it's, in my opinion, a bit faster to put together than the large custom boosters. But it's got to be worth your time and your money. The hollow easing is from one of the plasma sets. Oh, nice. All right, here we go. 
I think the difficult part with the hollow game is if you have like a very large, uh, yeah. So there's some really cool hits in the box, some really expensive ones, like what you would pull out of the large custom box. Here's the problem. In order to fund a really good pull in the small, there has to be many, many hollows in there. And I would say that's the problem right now. But I tell you what, we'll shut it down for now and we're gonna get you some bonus team ups and uh, I'll, I'll think about it more before we move forward with it. Oh, wait, hold on. That's actually nice. I do like the small custom. Can't wait for you to get it right. Right. Yeah, I, um, I'm not quite sure how I want to do it. Dude, look at this pull. Magikarp, Wailord. You were going to be fine with your three packs anyways. Take a look at that, man. Magikarp, Wailord. Very beautiful. How about this? What do we got here? We want your PSA Zards and the customs. Yeah, I couldn't do that unless I were to overprice them. We've got Joltik. You guys want me to put some overpriced Charizards in the customs? I like Neo Genesis and Revelation. Sweet. Three, four. Star you. Are you streaming tomorrow, mister, or off? Good question. It's uh, to be determined. <laughs> All right, so your polls and tag team were excellent. Place this over here. Now, you do actually keep these. So you got a bunch of hollows. And uh, when you start getting hollows in, in large groups like this, um, it's kind of a cool thing. It, it's cool. You can, like, kind of go through them. Hold on. Let me try and get this. They're kind of fun when you get a bunch of them because you can kind of, like, scroll through them and look at them all. Good question. What do you guys think? I go live tomorrow. Sweet tea. What sweet tea? He goes, hmm. All right, so let's take another look. So from Team Up, you get Jirachi, Charmeleon, Tapacoco, Celebi, Venusaur, Magikarp, Whale Lord. And then you also pick up Lapras and Dark Gyarados from Team Rocket. Beautiful. Uh, you also pick up these hollows. Uh, your pulls your pulls weren't exactly lucky. You grabbed like the three packs of team up, but that's not like actually a big hit in the box. So there's there's bigger hits than like three packs of team up. Uh, my brain categorizes hits in different ways. There's a small hit, a medium hit, and then a like a big chase hit. Uh, but I felt like you shouldn't be able to buy hundred dollars worth of the small hollows and not hit some kind of reward that's substantial now again i think one of the problems that happened was you guys saw me shuffle it live in front of you and i'm concerned that that might have created a scenario where there was actually a large gap before the the actual good pulls come out but we went ahead and tossed him some extra team ups to make it a better better situation let's go back to his paypal i'll work on the small the small customs If it'll log me back in, come on, PayPal. Freaking PayPal, you guys wanna watch this? Ooh, oh wait, you can't see it. Kitty's trying to watch. How do I normally do this? Oh, like that. All right, so who were we helping? It was Andrew Edward, right? Andrew Edouard. Sweet! And your bag's going to be really too full to be able to handle all this. So we're going to create a second bag for you, Andrew. You guys want to see Kitty? You guys got to see this. Look at Kitty. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. She's being pretty cute. He says, what if that ring would have hit those cards? Oh, they'd have, been, they'd have been fine. They're in these penny sleeves. See the penny sleeves? Got a good cushion going on. I want Mr. to feel bad for me after six what? After six greenbacks. Mr., you should make the prizes smaller so there is more winners. Well, you could do that, but that means that there's never a prize that makes people go, wow. You know what I mean? So you got to have something in there 
uh, think of it like this, you know, uh, there, you can release like Rebel Clash, put plenty of good pulls in there, but if there's no Charizard in there, people don't go, wow, wow, Charizard was in there. You know what I mean? So you got to have every now and then a really good pull or else people have no interest. They go, eh, why am I even playing this? That's why it's the small mister. Maybe we could make it a $10 game. I don't know. Andrew, placing you right here. Have you... Hey, have you done my order? I had to go for a second. I'm Raul. Is it Raul or Raul? So we're getting we're getting much closer to you, mister. It looks like you're about three away. We have Justin Morris next. He says, two packs of Shiny Star V. All right, Justin, let's do it. Two packs of Shiny Star. Ban me like Coke and Snorlax? What? Sneep. You should do an extra large rigged. An extra large, so go the other direction, huh? What do we got? Ditto VMAX and Amazing Rare Reshiram. Sweet. Those would have been great if he spent like 15 or 20. Ooh. All right. That was Justin Morris. Sorry, I'm a little distracted right now. Oh, you got one more pack, though. Yeah, I'm distracted. I'm, I'm thinking a lot about the custom boosters. That's what's going on. Need to focus on opening cards. Zamazenta V. Justin. Justin. Let's find his bag. Justin Morris, he's right here. Oh, and he's got the cute Eevee trainer. I don't think there's a point to a $20 wigged game and a $10 wigged game. They're too close to each other in price. Um, a $20 and a $5 makes sense. Why don't we make it $20 and $100? Ooh. <laughs> no, that's too much pressure. You know, what's, you know what the problem is with the $100 wigged pack? People would buy them one at a time, and there wouldn't be enough people buying them. So what would occur is... People would only buy when they believe there is a possibility to snipe the pack. So we couldn't do $100 wig pack. All right. Next up, we got Hank Glazers. What's up, Hank Glazers? He says, I got a bag, but you wrote my actual name about a month ago, if that helps. All right. So we're going to find your bag. You said about a month ago? Gavin... Oops. Hobbit poop. Gene Hyatt. Hobbit poop again. Gantu Penguin. Miss Tinklebot. It is possible that your bag is still down low if it had like one card in it. Hank Lasers. Gronkton. Henry. Oh, is this it? Henry Avila. All right. Let's just look through this real fast. Heath Gilbert. Just looking at everything. All right. Sweet. Okay, and you would like at Chump's Path. I think he means to say to Chump's Path. All right. To Chump's Path for Mr. Mr. Henry. Set that there. Let's see what your polls are, Henry. Instant Cherry Zard. Toss that over there. Do, 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 <gasps> Wow, that was... What color's on the Hound Doom? I know, right? It's like... What would you even call that? Turquoise or something? Turquoise and... What's the red color? Maroon? <laughs> something like that. Woo! Chump's Path indeed. Sorry, mister. Cold pulls. Nice hearing from you again, though. Here's Raul. Is it Raul? He says, two custom live packs. Wigged, please. First order, no bag. All right. So these are the wigged packs. Uh, they're high-risk packs. You have a chance for a really hot thing to come out, but it might be cold. Let's find out. Pack number one is Aerodactyl GX. And pack number two is Pidgeot EX. Sweet. So now we're going to create your first bag. 
and your bag will sit on the table until you make a post in the free shipping channel. And then you kind of got to wait for your turn in the free shipping channel. Actually, because of these, these custom booster packs, I'm behind on shipping terribly. So that's no good. Let's get you your bag now. Really far behind. Because the, <clears throat> the time before live streams that I would normally spend shipping people's packages out, I now spend all that time making custom boosters. It's actually really difficult to get them done in a small amount of time. Because so, uh, when we go live, people buy so many of them, I have to make a lot of them. All right. Ahoy, mister. What's up, Joshua? I got the Rainbow Lapras Modern card. What? Jet69. He says, can I get eight of the new hollow cards? Let's give it another shot, okay? Let's see what happens. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Two ancient origins, according to this. Uh, and actually, that breaks even because I sell the ancient origin. What do I sell the ancient origin for? Ancient origins are 20 bucks each, each, right? So he paid $40 for this order. And so he picks up all these holographic cards and two packs of ancient origins. Very interesting. All right. Very interesting. So in other words, if let's say eight people bought them for $5 each and they each bought one pack, uh, eight people, seven people would get a holographic card for $5. One person would get these two ancient origins for $5, but normally these would cost $40. So what do you guys think of that? So one person will walk away with the $20 prize and everyone else would walk away with, you know, kind of a useless hollow card. He says, will you keep it going then? Or still thinking about it? Well, I'm, I'm testing the water with it right now. Oop, let me jump back to PayPal real fast so I can keep up. All right, once again, this was for Jet69. Oh, snap. What did I just do that for? Hold on. <laughs> oh my gosh, it was Ampharos. <laughs> Tossing your Ampharos to the side, man. Beautiful, beautiful Ampharos. So Ampharos EX Full Art. Tossing it like it's a sun and moon card. There's Baltoy. And what do we have here? Oh my god. Septile Spirit Link. Sweet. Mr. What are you going to do tomorrow? Um, the same thing I do every... Uh, day try to take over the world in the previous case 20 would have he says 20 would have to order to get a hit says no walrus yeah but again we did that shuffle and i'm wondering if maybe the shuffle made it so that there was an unusually large gap between prizes that's what i'm worried about so let me let me describe the problem for you with these little packs so because they're so small because they're so small, if you want a substantial size prize, you actually need quite a lot of packs. So actually, let me do the math for you. Let's say you want to create a $100 prize and you divide that by $5, $5 you would think it's 20, but actually after PayPal fees, it's a lot closer to four point something. It's like 4.8, so $4.8. And this goes into 100 something like, it'll be something like 22 times. You know, go into 122 times. So you need 22 hollows to create one good pull. Uh, but actually, if we if you only had a good pull every 22 packs, people would be annoyed by this and they wouldn't want to buy. So the pull rate actually needs much to be cl much closer to five packs. Five packs. So you have to have a hit every five packs. So this number actually has to get much... Well, let's say this number here has to get much larger because now it has to account for one large pull and let's say a medium and a small pull, maybe more. So there could be two small, two medium, and one large pull that, and this is really all anyone cares about is the large pull. But now this, this cash number has to grow to account for these two depending on what the prizes are, right? So it could go up to $140. And now this number expands as well. Uh, it's much closer to about, uh, how much does five go into 140? Like, I don't actually know. It would, it would be 
200, I'm sorry, it would be 20 plus uh, 9 or something, 8, 28. So it would be about 28 hollows before you could get one big hit. And this is the problem we run into. Because the team-up hit was not a large hit, it was one of the smaller medium hits. And we were going a long time to reach one good pull, uh, and it just wasn't looking good. It wasn't looking like it was worth it. Uh, one of the problems also is he bought $100 worth of pulls. And maybe, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. If you put $100 in, should you get $100 out, I guess is the question. It's a small. Why does it have to be a huge hit? He got some money back. Don't worry. Maybe he was just testing the waters. Yeah. Um, hmm. Yeah, I need time to think about it. It's tricky with the small. With the with the large, it's much more flexible because somebody will run out of money very quickly in the large, and uh, the packs can actually hold a lot more. So there's, there's a lot more flexibility with what kind of prizes you can have. Uh, you can have a a three hundred dollar prize in fifteen packs, so it's really well, it's more like sixteen packs. Again, once uh, PayPal fees, uh, but you can get to that point very quickly. Anyways, we should get back to opening cards. Jet sixty nine. I might not. I just might not continue to do them. I would like to do them though. It's so weird. Jet sixty nine. Agree. The gamble is part of the fun. Maybe what I will do is I will limit how many you can order, or I don't know. That might actually solve it. He says, I want that Ampharos. You can't have it, mister. It belongs to Jet69. Mister, is Santa Claus real? Yes, he is. Hey, mister, I hope you and Kitty are doing well. Mister, I wish to grade some cards. What do I do? Um, are you asking me to grade cards for you? You can contact me privately, and I do accept people's orders being sent over here, and then you can pay what you want. To have graded you can also pay for me to do a five dollar pre-grade for up to 40 car cards a pre-grade is where i tell you what what really should be graded i order them i, I organize them in the order of importance all right after jet 69 we have save big mattresses he wants two packs of hidden farts let's get some hidden farts looks like this hidden farts box is empty i'm gonna go get a fresh box of hidden farts i'll be right back No one should be guaranteed money back after the gamble. Doop. Hidden fakes. He said no one should be guaranteed money back when they do a gamble. Yeah, but, you know, if you were to buy $100 of, let's say, Rebel Clash, you can expect within $100 to pull maybe like one Hyper Rare, and so my pull rates really need to be reflecting what you would expect out of a regular Nintendo pack, uh, because if they aren't, then my packs aren't as good as their packs. It's as simple as that. So it's something to think about. Okay, so give me a moment. Two packs of Hidden Fates. Hold on, there's more to his order. Small custom booster. All right, here's a small custom booster. Okay, in this case, it's just a hollow. Sorry for all the separate payments. I didn't know I was going to buy all these. Thanks for everything. Happy holidays. Five packs of Yu-Gi-Oh! Phantom Rage. All right, we got some Yu-Gi's as well. Yu-Gi's! Three, four, five. So the Yu-Gi's are just getting clearanced out so I can get to the next Yu-Gi-Oh! set. All right. New member. Hey, I recognize that guy. It's Wes Donini. What's up, Wes? 
You gotta go. Have a nice night, Snorlax. Are the Rainbow Rare Trainers and Amazing Rares from Vivid worth grading? Amazing Rare Trainers? I don't think there's Amazing Rare Trainers. Oops. Pack number one. Oh, I was getting worried. I thought my cat was getting ready to throw up. <laughs> Four. Mister, a long-time viewer. Just to have a question. I just submitted my brother's SPM Full Art Super Rare, the Vivid Voltage pre-release art in the... Would you consider... It looks like you had a large message, but it didn't paste. Ooh, pulling the Ho-Oh shiny. Beautiful. Really nice. All right, second pack. You ready? Let's see what the second pack holds. You're going to go to sleep? You have a nice sleep. Dream of sugar plum fairies or something like that. Simps. <laughs> Question, how much would a PSA 10 card Cardass... Is it Cardass or Cardass? S Scyther Prism, low pop 22, go these days. It goes for $12. There you go. So do you do bulk PSA submission if we send in our collection? Yeah, I can do that for you. It is possible for me to do that too, for you. What does Mr. Want for Christmas? Um, Santa baby, I don't know. What do I want for Christmas? Good question. We've got Virtual World Dragon. Mister, I wish you a very Christmas and get yourself some sleep. I'll get some sleep. I sleep in the daytime a little more. Coochie, you got the World Gate Coochie. Next pack, what do we have here? Joyous Melfies. And on the next pack, these are some weird Pokemons. Rock Band Xeno Guitar. Kind of bumped that one. Ooh, Raider Knight. You got Raider's Knight, mister. Sweet. Wow, he's like totally a Raider's Knight. I'm about to floop the pig over here. Here's Dragilch. We want to see Kitty. Well, she can't really be seen too well anymore. She kind of turned around. She's just her back now. All right. All of that was for Save Big Mattresses. I believe this is your first order. Be sure to get me your address on Discord. Really, you need to join Discord because that's where the free shipping channel is. Technically, it's possible to not join. You could just do live shipping every time you order, but you don't want to do that. That's a waste. Save big booties. Save big. How long have we been going? Two hours? I'm going to go take my little tinkle break. Let's see who's next, though. So, it would be Stephen Dam next. Hey, mister, I'm back again. Forgot to say Merry Christmas. Three more wig packs and live shipping and anything you can do for the Bended Charmeleon. Oh, listen to this guy. He's like, uh, go ahead and uh, give me a little bit more. So, let me go take a tinkle. I'll be right back, and then we'll pull those wig packs. Are you ready? Are you excited?
I was a really big tinkle, guys. How much did I drink? I think I drank like a gallon. What the? Okay, so. Steven Dam, huh? Pack number one. <gasps> it's the full heel and the energy card. You did it! Yay! Pack number two. <gasps> it's the Gyarados promo. Yay! And pack number three. Raichu GX. All right, mister. Unfortunately, this time, no crazy pulls. Now, he said, can you do anything about that bent... Uh, Charmeleon. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a little pity on you and give you this very well-centered looking Raichu GX. Maybe it'll be a 10. Woohoo! The squeaky wheel gets the oil, right? That was for Steven Dam. He also wants live shipping. Where am I going to find Steven Dam? Uh, Alexander Ross. Here you are. I found you. He says, no pity. <laughs> okay, put this in here. Oh, 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 oh. What is playing? Why wow, this music sounds terrible? Santa Claus is cooming tonight? That's right. Can Raichu beat up Pikachu? I would say so. I think he was impersonating a young boy. Alex says this music scares me. So... Three more wicked packs and live shipping and anything you can do for the Bandit Charmeleon. Let's go ahead and get you shipped. I don't fully understand your order. So three more wicked packs would have just been $60. But it looks like you sent... It looks like you sent almost $80. He says, that Tyranitar, ooh-wee. So you might have overpaid, Steven. Have another look at your payment, and if you overpaid, I'll get you a refund. Oh, you're in Canada. That's why. All right, so Steven Dam. Steven Dam, I need you to send me a message on... I need you to send me a message on Discord, okay, Steven Dam? Send me a message on Discord so that your messages get bumped to the top. Let's see if you already did. No, okay, you haven't. Yeah, I need you to send me a message right now. And in the meantime, we'll go ahead and get your package ready. What is this music? This is Minecraft music? I've never heard this before. All right. somewhere ah, I do in a trash pile let me go digging for it I'll be back uh, we'll also use one of these real fast I can't remember, does Steven Dam actually have PSA cards? So when you guys tell me to ship your stuff, it's a good idea to tell me if you have PSA cards. Woohoo! Hey mister, it's me, Steven. Alright. So Steven, I can tell that you never filled out this little form. I can't create a label until you fill this out, okay? He says, Mr., I messaged you in Discord. He says, yeah, I got PSA. Okay, that's an important detail. Let me go find all your PSA stuff. Sorry, guys, we'll get back to opening these. We're just doing a little live shipping. Let's go find this PSA real fast. Steven Dan. Two. 
on pile number three. How about pile number four? Well, where is it? Not in this pile, is it? I guess it's possible. Let's see if it's in this pile. <laughs> I can't find your PSA. So he says he has a PSA card. Uh, what's your PSA card say on it, Stephen, if you don't mind me asking? See, maybe I just missed it back here. Did I miss it? See, Tammy. So it's really important that you guys let me know uh, if you got PSA cards and, and what it is. He says, Sim for Dinkle. Maybe he's lying. Can't buy Pokemons. All right, so this is taking a really long time. So what I'm going to request you do is, he says, all shiny star V. Mr. I sent five PSA out. Oh, oh, no, I'm talking about do you have any here on the table? I think he meant something else. All right. No problem. I thought he meant here on the table. You gave me a confusal, mister. Obviously, I'm not going to ship out cards that haven't returned from PSA. All right, Steven, your, your Pokemon cards are packed. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, not make you a label yet because you haven't filled out that, that form. You got to fill out that form, mister. All right, Stephen, damn on this. All right, there we go. And we'll set this over here for now. Let's move on to the next order while he's filling that form out. He said I did. Oh, I see what you... No, you didn't fill it out, man. You got to fill it out exactly in the order that it's in. Hold on, let me post it one more time for you. All right. So it's very, very important that that's in that exact order. Because I don't understand your address at all. So I just fill it in in a form that's in that same exact order. Jumping over to the PayPal's, we have... It's Nadine. What's up, Nadine? Who wants one shiny star? Happy holidays. Can I see my bag? You sure can, Nadine, huh? So let's start with Shiny Star. It's got to be in the exact order, okay? Of that uh, little form, that little list. Or else I don't touch it, because I'm not going to mess up the order. Ooh, look at that. Low punny, shiny. And you got Mr. Ballman. That was a good pack, man. Happy holidays to you and your family. Oh, thank you very much, Kevin. He says, that's Kitty, by the way. Okay, there's Mr. Ballman, and there's a little punny. You want the ball guy so bad? He was so close. So Nadine, huh? You're saying you have a bag. Let's see if we can find Nadine's bag. Oscar Mike. Nadine, I feel like I've said your name before multiple times as I passed by it. Knee Tank, Mr. Cure Emanuel, Mikey. Actually, were you going by another name by chance? No look character back there. Gimme love, Mr. Hodnon. Nadine, were you going by a nickname by chance or was the name on your bag Nadine? I notice communication is one of the hardest parts in this live stream. It's really important. Should I simp? All right, so it's not there. One, two, uh, it could be over here. I don't know if Nadine's listening, but Nadine, I need, to t I need you to tell me if you already have a bag and what the name of the bag is, okay? Ninja bread. All right, we did not find a bag for Nadine. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new bag. 
All right, congratulations, Nadine. You sent for Santa. Sweet. Seems like a new name, to be honest. Nadine Souza, seems like a name. Seems like a new name. Can I see my bag? Thanks. All right, after Nadine, we have Justin Morris. He says, last Shiny Star V packs. We have two packs of Shiny Star V left. So you're a little overpaid. Let me just look around for a minute. Make sure there's not like a single box sitting somewhere. I'm not seeing one. Let me check over here, make sure there's no loose packs anywhere before I do this. Yep, that's officially every pack I had. So there's only two packs left and you're gonna get a partial refund. Okay, we're gonna choose refund this payment. I was gonna buy Dinkle a pack, but she's a mess today. Come on, Dinkle, get it together. Okay. Mister, look at Discord. I fixed it. Sweet, you fixed it. Justin Morris, you've been refunded $40 because we sold out of the Shiny Star V packs. You got the last two packs. Dinkle says, I'm always a mess. Sneep. Huh, that's new Minecraft music. This is interesting. All right, we got Cinderace and Santa Scorch. Pack number two. Zombie Apocalypse incoming then. LMAK. LMAK! <laughs> nice, nice. Uh, he's a starter, right? I don't ever remember his name. I'm trying to remember. Ah, it's on the tip of my tongue. I can't ever remember him. I chose the little, the little bunny. Grookie, Grookie, yeah. There we go. Sweet! That's for Justin Morris. Let's find Justin Morris's bag. Why do I feel like Justin Moore? Yeah, he's right here. Here you go, Justin. All right, so. All right. He says, oh, okay. Thank you very much. Let's go ahead and get his label made now. We're making the label for Stephen Dam. So I'm over here getting that done right now. And then we'll get right back to opening packs. Do, 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 So I think I got this. It's funny, man. Like, how am I supposed to... Um, so, Stephen Dam, you got to consider the reason that that form is numbered is so that you can put it in the same numbered order because I don't know if Hamilton's a city or Hamilton, Ontario's a city. See what I'm saying? So that's why I do that. You got to you gotta understand, I don't, I don't live in Canada. None of those names make sense to me. But I, I, they do look a little bit familiar. So, because I've been doing this for a little while, but that's why we sent it that way. I think we have it. <laughs> that's why I kept repasting it. Give me a moment. Or I could have thought that like your street name was a certain way. Like, you know how it is. All right, and we're hitting print label. More info, trading cards. And the value is there we go. All right. 
That's live shipping on your box, mister. And I put your box over here, didn't I? Yes. Your cards are on the way, Snorlax V. Let's see who's next. Oops, that's for the refund. After Justin Morris, we have Rodriguez and Store. He says, hey, mister, my daily wig again. I need something nice. I also have a bag on the right. Thank you very much, mister. All right. Ho, ho, ho. Shiny Zerka tree. That could be worse. Shiny Zerka tree, huh? And that's for Rodriguez. Should be over here. Sweet. Have a nice night. Gabriel Hernandez. Hello, mister. Happy holidays. One wig pack, please. I have a bag. You got it, Gabriel. I noticed the wig pack is probably the most popular pack in the live stream right now. That was for Gabriel. Gabriel, Gabriel. And he's going to be over here. Gabriel Creation. Gabriel Hernandez. The night is lovely. What? Did you watch Grismas tonight? What's Grismas? What would you guys think of doing like a Secret Santa next year? You guys want to do a Secret Santa? Okay. After Gabriel Hernandez, we have Oscar Diaz. He says, for two Shiny V, and I do have a bag under Oscar. So, Oscar, the Shiny V is all sold out. You're getting a refund, mister. I apologize for that. There were just a lot of people who wanted the shiny star, and I officially ran out. That's why I say stuff like very limited. Um, and, yeah, they just sell really fast. Pretty wild, actually. John Loman says 10 wigged packs? Oh, my God, dude. John Loman strikes deep. Are you ready? Can I get live shipping and the rest? Oh, um, so Oscar, no, it was, uh, yeah, it was Oscar that I just refunded, was it not? Oscar, I just refunded the entire thing, okay? I didn't see live shipping, though. All right, so 10 packs for John Lohman. Pack number one, look at this. They said Plasma or something like that. That's a Giratina from Plasma. Are these the $20 packs? Yes. Pack number two, Venusaur EX. Pack number three. Pack number three is going to be 10 holographic cards. Maybe you'll find something in there you like. Pack number four. Ah, pack number four is a hit. Oh, PSA 10, it says. Huh, what could that be? Pack number five, Hollow Pikachu. Pack number six. Oh, what's this? 10, Rebel Clash. Pack number 7, Mega Slowbro. Pack number 8, it's going to be more hollows. And pack number 9, Keldeo, my little Keldeo. Let me just recount these, make sure I didn't... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... Last pack, then. You did it. Parasect and Bellsprout from Jungle. Vintage common cards. Are these in good condition? I think these were the ones that were in better condition. That's why they're sleeved up. The ones that are in poor condition. I don't I don't typically spend time sleeving them because it's not time for that. All right, so let's find exactly what he pulled. So the 10 Rebel Clash. Let me get those up on the table. Rebel Smash! I don't even know why I did Rebel Clash. It's not like... We're actually really low on Rebel Clash, so it's not like I should be doing Rebel Clash. I just thought it would be fun. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, ten rebels. Let's see what we pull out of these ten rebels. It's possible for them to be cold, so you will hope that they're not cold. Sneep. Sneep. Oh, uh, you know what? I should show off the SM-195, shouldn't I? Because someone's just going to go look it up. That'll spoil the fun. Sneep. So SM-195 is going to be Detective Pikachu Charizard promo. And this is going to be a is going to be a PSA 10. Very nice, man. It's a cool card, man. Sweet. Okay, here we go. And here's your Rebel Clashes. We have Inteleon V. Pack number two. That's a green back. Three, four. New cult member. Who joined? Oh, thanks for joining, Tyrell, madam. Is it madam? Three, four. Metacam. That's a green bag. Mr. Mime? You ordered live shipping. Who did? John Loman did? Oh, sn oh snap. So, and that would apply to this. I'm sorry, I wasn't putting the dots together. <laughs> I did not put the dots together. There we go. Okay, let's keep going. That's a green back. Green back. White back. With Dragapult V. Very nice. Green back. One more chance for full art. Come on. Ah, okay. The Rebel Clash was a little bit cold. Sorry, mister. <laughs> and can this still be shipped without needing to go to priority? Uh, maybe we'll say it's just under a pound <laughs> when we do the shipping. Ten packs, live shipping. Oh, wait. You've already got a bag. Ah, this is feeling like it's over a pound, unfortunately. That sucks. We have to do priority. <laughs> so there's that. Now your other bag is going to be probably over here. John Loman, did you have other PSA cards with me? Let me know if you had other PSA cards that I need to ship out. Mister, he put it in another order. Sweet. John Loman, right there. He says another order. Wait, mister. Wait! Mr. Stop! So you say you put in another order. Hmm. Let's go ahead and refresh the PayPal's. Do a little PayPal refresh. He says, another 10 customs. What's up, Dark Rider of the Night? I'm looking for it. He says two more wigged, why not? Okay, let me just make sure people ahead of you did not order wigged. Ernesto. Okay, so nobody else bought them ahead of you, which means we'll go ahead and jump the line to get these open for you. One more pack, that's Magic Carp. And two more packs. Right, you GX. Ah, you took a stab, but no crazy snipes. No crazy snipes. I know how it is. You think to yourself, you know, I think two cards from now, we're going to get the crazy snipe. He has sword and shield packs too. What? What are you talking about? Oh, four sword and shield base. Oh, my God. How much did you order, man? This is unacceptable. <laughs> Here goes. <laughs> Acceptable. Sneep. Sneep. Toss it over there. My juices. My vital juices. John sells them Kia's left and right. <laughs> what? Frost Moth? Oh, 
Oh, oh. Did you get my PayPal? Says Strictly Green. I probably did. Remember, you have to wait for it to be your turn. So there's usually a line of people who ordered all at the same time. And so we got to work our way through. We got Wobble Fett V. All right. Anyone who would trade for a shiny Obstagoon secret rare? Oops. Uh, I know two people have the shiny Obstagoon. I don't remember who it is. Oops. Sliding around in the bag. John. John Lowman. And we need another box for shipping this, right? So we're going to get your shipping done now. John Loman, have I shipped you before? I dislike the st stream for the thrill. I'll probably fall asleep by the time the stream ends. Who said that? Who said they'll fall asleep? Antique? Just got my other bag today. Oh, nice. And you were like, man, I should get some more Pokemons. Bleep, bleep, bloop, bloop. Generating 200 likes. <laughs> Very good, Robo Snow Walrus. All right, we're doing live shipping for John Loman. Let me print his label. Uh, USA shipping is so easy. <laughs> I can almost do it at the click of a button. It's definitely going to be a priority shipping because it's so heavy. And I do have a Champion's Path ETB sitting over there, so we're going to use that. My buddy paid me for the Pokemon I bought for him, so I paid it for it for myself. <laughs> All right, we got the Champion's Path ETB here. What is this, by the way? Oh, that looks cool as hell. You what, John? Since we got you a bulk box, we might as well toss in some extra bulk. I don't know how much you care about bulk, but everyone loves bonus bulk. Bonus bulk! How can I get some bonus bulk without pulling the whole pile down? It's like hard to reach. All right, bonus bulk. some more in there yeah put some on the other side all right and probably stuff the top with paper do i have paper i think kitty took all my paper <gasps> bad kitty why would you do that kitty i trusted you put that on top i guess I'm using the tape. All right, put this in an envelope. Mr. John Lowman, you're all shipped up, mister. Let me know when it arrives nice and safe. Hopefully it arrives, oh, arrives nice and safe. Got Charizard in there. A Charizard? Who's next? After John Lowman, let's talk about who's left. We've got, well, let me, let me scroll backwards and make sure nobody was missed. Jeremy, Rawl, Henry. Looks like we got everyone. All right. And who was the guy who was asking about if it was going to be their turn? <laughs> Ernesto is next. Hi, mister. One pack of evolution. My bag is heavy. Sounds good, Ernesto. Me, 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 me. My turn. <laughs> Here goes. What do we got? 
I started watching this channel two days ago and I love it already. What's up, Sergio? Ooh, reverse hollow Mewtwo. That looks really good, actually. Pretty good centering. Damn, dude, that might be a straight 10. There's no print lines on it. Wow, get that one graded. Let's see, what else? That's a XY Evolution. All right, that one looks pretty good. I didn't see any print lines. No, I did not. Let's go find Ernesto. He said he has a big bag. Ernesto Delgadillo. Yeah, it might be a 10. Next up, we have Jet69. Hey, mister, I was looking at the price. Just noticed you were selling Steam Siege for seven. Oh, okay, thank you very much, Jet69. That's very nice. Steven Dima says, one unified mine. Also, I have a bag with one card. Hoping to add. Thank you. All right, Steven, good luck. Here we are. It's almost not worth it when they sell one pack at a time because of the flat uh, flat PayPal fee. There's a flat fee that you pay every time the transaction goes through. All right, here goes. Steven. That's actually why Rebel Clash has to, you have to buy them two at a time because I'd get killed by the fee. Nice, dude. You actually did get a pull. That's Slowpoke Psyduck. Very cute. Slowpoke Psyduck GX. One free code for the code kids. I know you guys like that Unified Minds code. So Steven Dimas, let's go find. Where is he at? Samuel Shav, Stark. Steven, he says, looking to add. Looks like he did. Sweet. I think I found that 5G chip in my body. <laughs> Luxury TL, what's up, man? He says, one wigged custom, two whole customs. What? Oh, hollow customs. I got gotcha. you. So here's the wigged. Oh, okay. Pulling the Charizard GX, which apparently is very nice. Apparently, that's like a $7 card, and I wasn't, uh, I wasn't realizing that, how nice he was. And then over here, we have two of the hollows, huh? Hollow number one is Berserker. Hollow number two is Decidueye. <laughs> so no hot pulls out of there. Uh, but the Charizard is actually apparently pretty nice. Let's go ahead and put this into Luxury's bag. Luxury TL, I still run you by your, your nickname, don't I? Probably shouldn't do that. He says, what pack did you get? Oh. Bad, bad Charizard. Strictly Green, what's up, Strictly Green? He says, large custom booster, one for 20, high-risk booster pack, no refunds. All right, so this is for Strictly Green. You ready, Strictly Green? Strictly Green, your pull is the Gyarados GX. Very nice. Okay, oh. I think he's been waiting that whole time for that one one wig pack. Stop! Stop sliding! This is really Minecraft music? Man, that's some wild Minecraft music. I heard a choir back there. Do you have any sealed boxes? Um, I have a sealed boxes of... What did I get in the mail today? I got Roaring Skies from XY... From the XY era, we got Roaring Skies... We've got Flash Fire. We've got the base set. I've got XY Breakpoint. I'm sorry, Breakthrough. Technically, I think I have Breakpoint as well. Uh, and I might have a sealed box of Ancient Origins somewhere. Are you interested in one of those? Strictly green. You're laughing. They were laughing at uh, Steam Siege. Steam Siege is going up in price, man. I think I've already made money on Steam Siege. Everything will go up in price uh, after enough time. Isaac says, one large custom. Merry Christmas. You got it, Isaac. Isaac Alderetta. Pulling the right you, huh? I'm Steam Siege rich. They printed Roaring Skies to the dirt. 
Love your content. Oh, you're talking to Fury TV. Ding. <laughs> there we go. So, Isaac. What is the rarest pack you opened, mister? The rarest pack I've ever opened. Um... I guess I'd have to say the rocket packs. The first edition rocket packs. I've opened so much rocket, you'd be surprised. I really understand pull rates on the rocket packs, too, in wing. It's actually kind of a skill. And, you know, it's kind of a very valuable, expensive skill to understand weighing when it comes to the old vintage packs. Isaac, you did it! Now we have Joel Morin. He says, one more large custom booster till the next month. Mister, you're addicting. All right, Joel Morin. Oops. That's like stuck together. There it goes. Joel Morin pulling the reverse hollow Hitmonchan. Hmm. That's not a Cherizard. Where's the Cherizard? I was looking for one Cherizard. All right, and Joel is going to be... Where's Joel going to be? Probably over here. This is Minecraft music? Oh my god. What is this new Minecraft music? You must be up top. Oh, you are. I can see your bag. Mifter. Oh, you got that wig pack last time. You must have been like, wow, I'll take that again. Colton, what's up, Colton? Colton Elliott. Three, Sun and Moon base set for Pokemon 619 and a new toy for Kitty Christmas. <laughs> a new toy for Kitty? All right, Kitty, getting you a new toy. Here it is, Sun and Moon base set. Sleep. He says, why is this happening? <laughs> Here we go. What do we got? Pack number one. <laughs> Tora Cat. Pack number two. Oh, man. Oops. Cutie Fly. And pack number three. Oh. Oh, well. It's, it's the thought that counts. Did a little mind sweep in there. Young Goose. Greenback King. That's right. Oh, PayPal trying to log me up. We're going to have to do a little ring spin for that. I think Joshua Kelly did an order. Yeah, Joshua Kelly, I can see you made two orders. One for Darkness Ablaze and one for Hidden Fates and Pre-Grading. So we're going to take care of Joshua Kelly because I suspect he's been waiting for a long time. He's sitting in the pending, uh, unfortunately... A certain orders, they come in as pending, and they don't get in the same line. It's a different line. So we're going to take care of you right now, Joshua. All right. You still here, Josh? You're Canadian, and you had a Canadian bulk box, which is really expensive. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I believe this is ten. And five hips, huh? Ow. There we go. I really want to order, but the exchange rate would kill me, I think. Yeah, that's understandable. Oh, you're Australian. Sorry. Oh. What do you think of that, Kitty? Australian. All right. Hidden Fates 4 and 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You're Canadian. Sneep. I'm from Brazil. I'm from Brazil. Who's going to buy me some Pokemon cards? Um, who's going to give me some code cards? The codes are really expensive here in Brazil. I'm sorry, I'm the Greenback King. What? Sneep. Sneep. You guys probably weren't around for that one. We had a little kid come in. He was like begging for free stuff. <laughs> he's like, the first thing he lets you know is he's from Brazil. It's like, all right. <laughs> that was a long time ago, actually. The months fade into years. <laughs> Not that fast, though. We're almost to 2021. Ah, fresh new year. What will get us in 2021? 
Maybe like a solar flare, meteorite. Rickety, crowbat. I think Australia has better exchange rate to USD, says Drew. New plague, yeah. COVID transforms into like super COVID. <laughs> Dinosaurs. Fresh new Rona. We've got Talon Flame. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, 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 wait. He saves his bulk. I'm a derp. One, two, three. Oops. You get four now. All right, there we go. So Joshua Kelly saves all his bulk. Aliens. <laughs> we got Senna Scorch V. UK has super COVID. Yeah, I heard about COVID like mutating or something like that. Tyranitar. Golet. It's another greenback. Lightbard. I'm here, a greenback king. Butterfree V. Oh man, the last pack better have a full art in it. What the heck? You got three Vs. Oh, here we go. And it's another V. You did it. Four Vs. You're V rich. All right, I think we're going to split this into a smaller pile. And then this will go onto the sidebar. Ah, come on, man. When the little plastic baggie doesn't want to work with you. Super COVID. Apparently the vaccine can also be changed to adapt to the mutation. Oh, my God. I wonder how the world feels about China after COVID. Does everyone feel the same? It's so frustrating, man. It's like, come on, guys. Think of how many people died from that. I don't know. Does it come from other countries? Do other countries ever, like, have plagues come out of them? I don't know. I'm, I'm not trying to beat anyone. Oh, shiny Mewtwo, dude. Look at the border on that Mewtwo. That looks like a 10. Yeah, man, it's just like... Get your stuff together, China. What the hell? Dude, that looks like a straight 10. Definitely grade that. You just made money on that Mewtwo. He says that's the third one. We got Reverse Hollow Mew, which is apparently gradable. People grade this. How many? We got Snorlax Bill. Scyther Zapdos. There's a video on YouTube about wet markets. You should look it up. Very educational. I imagine everything there is wet. We got Wimpod. That's why they call it a wet market, right? Okay, and let's go ahead and baggy this up as well. Hibs are mine, mister. All mine. <laughs> Living it up with the barbecue. Not even wet markets. Sweat markets. Ever have a car damaged by PSA? Why, yes, we have. Uh, we have this card uh, where the card is... Uh, crushed in this top little line and uh, same with this one card is pinched at the top so you the card is crushed at the top and that's actually a really nice card that's the Rayquaza he goes for $268 as a 10 right now this is still Minecraft wow he says still a PSA 10 <laughs> I know right people will still pay a bunch of money for it it's PSA 10 man that makes it good <laughs> He says, come on, PSA, get it together. I know. I don't know what'll happen when I send it back. So that was all for Joshua Kelly, and we need to find his bag. Joshua Kelly, I feel like you're gonna be up top, but I'm not sure. Wow, that's actually kind of loud. Let me turn that down. That's Minecraft music? I don't believe it. I'm like, I'm over here, I'm kind of stunned right now. That's not the Minecraft I played. This sounds like some sort of like, I couldn't describe it. Was this like club music or something? That's not Minecraft. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Chuka, 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 chuka. What is this? Okay, scrolling on back down. We did Strictly Green. We did Isaac Alderetto, Alderetta. I believe we did Joel Morin as well. And Colton, who gave packs to Pokemon 619. 
Now we have Nancy Luna, and it's three hours in. I'd like to ask you guys to stop making orders now. Nancy Luna says, hey, I want two Champions Path and one Shiny Star V. If Shiny Star V is sold out, I'll get two Vivid Voltage and one Darkness Ablaze. All right, so we're going to have to do that. A little substitute. Maybe it'll be a really good substitute, Nancy. You never know. And two Champions Path. Here we are. All right. Nancy is pokey rich. Nancy's going deep. All right, Nancy. Sneep. Mister, you saw my order, right? Four greenbacks. <laughs> All right, sending greenbacks right over. All right, pack number one is green. Let me check it anyways. Pack number two contains nothing. Pack number three contains, ah, uh, yes, Pikachu V. This is actually a decent V card. What do we have here? You got the holographic mental energy. It's got print lines in it. I'm just going to bulk it for you. And Marty Hollow. Woo! Gotta love those cold champions path, man. All right. The Pikachu V is actually kind of nice, though. There we go. And let's find your bag. I don't even buy Champions Path, and my packs are cold. <laughs> Nancy Luna with the beautiful Colossal. Like some kind of 80s music coming out of this Minecraft soundtrack. It's Alex PSX. He says two packs of Champions Path for Dinklebot. Dinklebot! All right. Simp! Simp mode activated. We're going super deep, boys. Sneep! So Dinklebot pulls right after Nancy. Let's see if Dinklebot has any better luck. You ready? Ultra Simp Mode, activate! Bead and my champ. It's my champion's path. It says right in the name, my champion's path. Totally cold, but you know what? That's a really nice gift anyways, Alex. That was 20 bucks. Very nice. He also says, one XY Evos for Michael J. Make him a bag. All right. For Michael J. Michael J. Fox. Goblin, I tried 190 crafts this year. It's the thought that counts. What do we got? Oops. Ooh, a really lovely holographic Zapdos that looks kind of like the Mewtwo. So this one's pretty clean except for one tiny little dot right there. Probably pull a nine. I think this would be a very strong nine. Not bad. All right, no secret rares in there. Let's write his name ahead of time. Ow, my back's starting to feel tired, actually. So let's wrap it up, guys. You guys didn't know this, but I went out and I was real active today. We went on a real long walk together. You know what? Writing the name beforehand on the bag was not helpful. <laughs> kind of making the name off to the side in a weird way. Wow, very nice of you, uh, Alex PSX. Oh, he's got another one. One XY Evolutions for you, mister. For me. For little old me. Here it goes. Let's see what we got. It's little old me. Miftle. All right. Now, when I pull XY Evos for myself, I just go straight to the Cherry Zards. You guys know that. Oh, it's Charmander. Look at that lovely Charmander. Ooh, very nice. Thank you very much. Let's see if there's a flying or surfing peeps at you. Did you at least have Goblin of the West Coast? We couldn't allow that. There's a code card for you guys. Wow, thank you very much, Alex PSX. You did it! Yay! <laughs> Toss it over there. And let's see who's next. 
Joshua Kelly said five hidden face and five for pre-grading. So I'm I'm realizing now for Joshua Kelly, we never gave him his pre-grade. Joshua Kelly, if you're watching, we're doing your pre-grade right now. Here it goes. Your Mewtwo looks like a 10. You should send him in. Yeah, this is slightly tilted, but I think it's actually very close. Yep, these all came out of the same box. That's very off-center. That's off-center, too, actually. Wimpod, it shows you even if it's out of the same box, it could be... Ah, uh, this is definitely tilted. A white dot. All right, Mega Blastoise is probably going to be a 9. Oops, he got jumping out of my hand there. Polywhirl. Print line. Print line. White dot. Uh, that's a print line. Print line. Mr. Ball Man, huh? Then on the right. All right, so we're going to put him in the nine pile. Callie taking over. What? So this card, there's nothing wrong with this card, but it's a Japanese V card from an older set anyways. Uh, so it's going to be not valuable enough to grade. That's what I'm judging it as. This one looks pretty good. Okay. Bolton, he's in the same group. All right, so this is actually very interesting. I would send this off to grade. It has a Charizard in it. It would be an experiment, but I think it's a good experiment. I have some myself. I might send them off. Definitely looking thinner on the bottom. I believe he is off center. Here's Charizard V. Off center. Salamence V Max. Pokemon Breeders Nurturing. Rillaboom. Looking great on the front. Crobat. We don't care about Crobat. He's too common. Now here's your Pibs at you. Okay, we're going to send him off to grade two. No. <laughs> Colossal. All right, and Colossal. He looks pretty good. I almost want to say he's a little thinner in this corner versus this corner. Sometimes the corners are uneven. Yeah, you kind of see that. He goes into a nine pile for sure. All right, and apparently these are bad. It's actually not that bad. He's off center, though. Charmander. Okay, it's thin on the top. Snorlax. Oh, look at that. Those were the maybe maybe grades. That makes sense, actually. So I was saying maybe grade these two. He's very close, but you can kind of tell, like, on this corner he's fat, and this corner he's thin. And maybe I'm telling myself, is it worth the nine? And the Charmander, the same deal. I might be asking, is it worth the nine? The Charmander, maybe, actually, because a lot of evolutions... Um, actually will be nines. I I'm going to rule this guy out. I just don't think he's that good. Snorlax is going to get ruled out. Suicune. Indeedy, Rillaboom. Here's Ditto. Ditto's actually part of a new print, right? New set. Fat on the right, though. Then on the left. Then on the left. Then on the right. Ditto VMAX. Ditto VMAX is part of a new set. No, he's then on the Then on the right. doesn't actually look that bad. It's slightly thinner on the bottom than the top. You could put this in the maybe pile, actually. So normally I wouldn't even recommend grading the Drapion because he's too cheap, but you actually could. And it's an English set. So the, you know, it's got the English card on it. So what's wrong with this one? This is uh, pretty close to a 10, but it's probably a 9. But the way PSA is grading, you might still consider it. These might be new. We might have added these to your bag later. So this is pretty close. Uh, okay, that's just a little dust. Yep, that one looks like it's got a shot at the 10, actually. And here's a metal energy. Why am I grading a metal energy? <laughs> okay, that's your, your pre-grade. These are the ones that you'll consider maybe on. I would definitely say the Blastoise is a big deal. 
the uh, Colossal, the Charizard, the Dracovish, this ball guy. These are all big deals in here. These are probably nines. The Charizard's definitely a nine. If they come, if any of them come back ten, that's good. That means that means they're good. And then these are probably tens. So Magazone, Pipsachu. So these code cards, I don't even know how they would be. How would they grade this for centering? I don't even know. So couldn't tell you on those. But I would send them in myself. I'm probably going to send some in because nobody else is going to think to. This Mewtwo is a big deal. That's the card you'll want to grade. Okay, that's the pre-grade. Thank you very much, Joshua Kelly. Let's move on to the next person. All right, we got to log back in. Apply for a PayPal working capital business loan. That's right. PayPal actually told me. PayPal told me that I have access to uh, $50,000 in terms of a business loan. How cool is that? I'm going to go use it. <laughs> so, I, John, I can see you ordered more wigged packs, but let me see if there's anyone. The way it works with pending, let me tell you, let me tell you how pending works. So there's two lists in PayPal that I go through. Uh, it's the people who paid for stuff list, and then there's the pending list. The pending list, unfortunately, gets pulled out of the actual money that's finished transferring list, and so the way I treat pending is I just do it last every time. So that creates a consistent order. And um, sometimes it's best to be last, you know. As long as it's random, that's all that matters. So we're going to see who else ordered. And then we'll pull your three wig packs. So we're done with Alex PSX. And then we got a large order. From Israel Cozio. He says, hello, I would like to pur purchase a bulk box. All right, so the first thing is we're going to say that you have a bulk box now. Actually, how much did you order right afterwards? Champion Fan Lodge Cozio? Okay. So I'm going to, this is basically a note to myself, and it says I owe you a shelf bulk box. All right, that's the note. Now, he would like two champions, Path. I believe I have just two left. There it is, two. One large custom booster. All right, we're going to see what your large custom booster is. All right, so your custom booster are some... Look at that, that's base set Nidoran. These are vintage, common uncommons, and uh, energy card and some trainers. Very nice. So you got a few... few Vintage cards in there. Nothing too crazy. It's considered a cold pack, by the way. So it means you did not get a hit pull. One Hidden Fates. I think we have one Hidden Fates. One XY Evolutions. All right, very good, mister. Let's get these packs open. I drink space what? Belching Beaver Chocolate Stout is pretty good. What? What are we talking about? Are you going to do Shining Legends here again? Yes, so we do have Shining Legends right now, but it's a pretty limited quantity, and so I'm kind of saving them for just the custom boosters for now. But if we can get a bunch more of them together, we'll we'll definitely make them available. Oh, creamy! Oh, 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 hold on. He keeps all his stuff. Let me get you a code card to replace the missing one. My bad, mister. Here you go. So Al creamy will come out and go into a hit bag on the table. Mr. Let me get one pack of Shining. Just one. <laughs> Just one. We got the purple energy card. Psychic. A white pack. Mr. Mime, Bill's Analysis. Sorry, Mr. The Hidden Face pack was cold. And for XY Evolutions, we pull Full Heal. Oof. It's kind of a rough round, I'd say. All right, and no secret rares. Yeah, a little bit of a rough pull. Let's get you a pity pull, huh? So I got this one right here. We'll get you a pity pull on that. Okay, and since you have a bulk box, we're going to be putting you into a little baggie here. And later on, when I add your box to the actual shelf, I'll be grabbing all your bags off the table and putting them into that box. But until you have more bags, I, I probably won't do that. Usually when somebody becomes a... Uh, they have so many bags that it starts to become a problem. That's when I make them a box now. Because some people will actually just have a little bit of bulk, and then they'll tell me to ship them. I noticed that. 
And now here's your book bag. I'm sorry, here's your hip bag. This is where your good pulls go. And these actually stay on the table. Haha, -ha, those are all yours, mister. There we go. And this goes into the GHI box. So there's a GHI box, and I sort it over there. So that next time you order, I know what box you're going to be in. Rottwool is next. He says two Sword and Shield base set. All right. You got it, mister. That's Steam Siege. Where's my base set? Here it is. No more orders, guys. We're all done taking orders, okay? Okay. Sneak. Pokey Kano, you've been to breweries. I quit drinking during quarantine, but I do love the bee, the beer. Does a Budweiser Michelada count? One, two, three, four. What do we got? We've got Copper Raja. Are you guys on untapped beer rating app? What? What? Nah, unfortunately, these are cold packs, Raul. Sorry, mister. Two cold packs. Oscar Diaz says, I'll do live shipping, and my address does start with one zero. Okay, so Oscar Diaz. Oscar Diaz, could you tell me everything you have real fast? Tell me if you have any PSA cards or bulk boxes or anything like that, okay? And in the meantime, I need to go find your bag. <laughs> Losing your six-pack. Dude, I, that's actually my goal is to get back down to, like, a really good weight and get like super in shape there's no reason i can't do it like literally to be thin all you have to do is stop eating and so that's my goal it's my next goal being like successful is pretty much i'm already done with that so now my next goal is being healthy oscar here we go oscar diaz i'm assuming that's your only one I didn't hear him say that he had any PSA cards. Mister, I was 3% body fat. Then boom, quarantine. Smoke me weed, that will strip a few pounds off you. Are you sure it's not the other way around? I'm sure you don't gain weight when you smoke weed? Pokey rich equals successful. Oh yeah. I got the pokey richness. He's pokey rich. There's wealth and then there's pokey wealth. Let's get real about wealth, guys. You don't gain weight if you're broke. I lost weight when I smoked weed, gained it back when I started drinking. John says it goes both ways. All right. Let's get you shipped. I really do not drink any alcohol. I'm just not a fan of the way it makes you feel. I don't like the woozy feeling. I mean, I've been really drunk before. I've had drinks and crazy times with drinks, but I actually never liked it. it. just wasn't for me. It's weird, isn't it? There's probably some drug out there that appeals to my brain more, but if there is, I don't want to know about it because I don't want to be hooked on a drug. I'm actually happy being blissfully unaware of a drug that might make me happy. All right, there we go. Shrooms, PCP. Uh, whatever makes my brain go much faster and makes me smarter, that's probably what I what I consume. Which, you guys know I consume a lot of caffeine, so technically that's a drug, right? I don't think caffeine's the worst thing, though. I put this here. I put this here. Actually, let me do, well, yeah, okay. Let me send this in one of the white envelopes because I don't like the way that is. Wow, that's still Minecraft soundtrack, the soundtrack, huh? They must have released like a whole new soundtrack for that game that I'm not aware of. I'm curious if it was all written by C418 though. This doesn't sound like C418's kind of music. It sounds like somebody else might have composed it. 
Hold your ears. This sounds actually like a composer who would do like classical music or something. The soundtrack artist. All right, you're all shipped, Mr. Oscar. All right, now we have Pokemon 619. He says four, Sword and Shield Base. Three, Pokemon 619. Four, Pokemon Base. There you go. Guaranteed Marnie. You ready? Oh, he said that's a heart. Oh, you're missing the, uh, you're missing part of it. <laughs> Sleep. Mr. You're an ecstasy man. I'll hook you up. Okay. Start getting drugs in the mail. Somebody got to send me some, some cookies, some brownies. All right, we got Blip Bug. Be like, try these brownies. You'll love them. Three, four. Santa Conda. Woohoo! Green. 2CB. What's a 2CB? Heat more. And. Oh, what is it? What is it? You ready? Oh, wow, dude. Victini. Woo! We did it! Mom! I did it, Mom. I pulled the Victini. Are you proud of me now? No, you were a mistake. Oh, my God. Imagine telling your kid that you're a mistake. What a sad thing to say. Miguel Guardafo. It's a droog from Europe. A droog? I want a droog from Europe. Is that similar to drugs? Morgan says one custom booster and two sword and shield. Everyone's hitting on the whole sword and shield right now. Victini sells for 500. You're gonna cry yourself to sleep. Now hold on. So Morgan John immediately opens up two more of these sword and shield packs. Let's see what he gets. Come on, Morgan John. That's a greenback. Me, 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 me. You sell those Misty's? Uh, I had 10 of them for sale and they sold instantly. I don't know if I want to buy more though. I don't know if I want to be like a dealer of smutty Pokemon cards. You know what I mean? What do you guys think? Should I just give in to the smut? Smutty Pokemon cards. Not a snipe. Look at that. That was actually not a snipe. I mean, it's not like it upsets me. I'm just worried about how other people will perceive it, believe it or not. So, Morgan John, let's see what you get out of here. Oh, Morgan John, pulling all these hollows, huh? Wow. You did it! Give them away as pity pulls. <laughs> Everyone will be wanting to get a pity pull at that point. He's afraid of getting on Keemstar's show. All right, so let's see. Morgan John. I I wouldn't even know what Keemstar is, but I'm assuming it's some guy who criticizes other people. <laughs> Over here, we have this YouTuber who sells half-naked Misty cards. She's not half-naked. She's not naked at all. It's just suggestive, you know? Suggestive. Can we get a naughty Mr. card? All right. I'll do a pouting lip. Wait, wait, wait. This is the wrong. That's the wrong. Okay, probably over here. Morgan John. Where's Morgan John? Here he is. Wow, he got the Gyarados last time, huh? Damn, you got a thick bag, dude. Just make room for you. Uh, yeah, it, there we go. Justin Morris says four Champions Path. You would order Justin uh, Champions Path. Give me a minute. I gotta go get a box. God damn it. <laughs> You're making me work, mister. I don't know how I feel about that. All right, and here we are. You'd pay a thousand for a Mr. card. Me too.
in that round of 10 champions path might be hiding the hottest pull of your pokey life. One, two, three, four. All right. Let's see what you got. How do you buy the packs? We have uh, instructions in the description. There's a little link you need to click. That'll take you to our Discord, and there's a whole area that teaches you about it. It's really important that you read that before trying to buy any cards, okay? You're going to corner the market. No, don't corner the market of Steam Siege. No! Pokeholics Anonymous. Oh, my God. Ooh, that's, oh, I could see that existing, actually. What if the government ever regulated Pokemon cards, said, sorry, you can sell cards, but you can't sell them in a little randomized booster pack anymore. It's gambling. Wouldn't that be wild? Dude, that'd be crazy. Marnie Hatterene. Last pack. Are you ready? This is for Justin Morris. Justin, you struck out perfectly. All four cards were cold. Justin, I'll do you a favor and toss you a GX. Perfectly cold. Wow, man. That is uh, really not fun when you pull cold pulls like that from freaking Champion's Path. I mean, it's so awesome when you pull a Charizard. It's like shocking. Sympaholics? All right, Justin, put you back. Very good. And so now we need to open up Joshua Kelly's three wicked packs. Here you go, Joshua Kelly. So I caught up with the line, so now it's your turn. Pack number one is Wigglytuff GX. Number two is, oh, what's this? PSA 10 101. And more Peko. All right. Wow, very lucky. See, what did I tell you, Josh? I told you it doesn't matter. As long as I have a consistent method of opening up the cards, all that matters is if you get good luck. And it looks like you got some good luck this time. What do we got? I know what this is. Wait, PSA 10 101? Did I write that down wrong? I might have written that down wrong. <gasps> no, I did not. Oh, so there were multiple PSA cards in that box, and I forgot this one was in it. So you're a little luckier than you realize. You pulled PSA 10 Gyarados from Crimson Invasion. Woohoo! It's not crazy big, but it's a really cool card. Look at that. He says, yo! So PSA 10 Gyarados from Crimson Invasion. Mom! There's another PSA 10 in there. I thought that was the one you pulled. I forgot this one was in the... Even in the game. Joshua Kelly. It's wigged! Mom, I hate it! I hate it! Tell him to give me back my Pokemon! It should have been mine! <laughs> he goes, Mom! I right, put that up there. Joshua Kelly with the PSA 10 Crimson Invasion Gyarados. We're just gonna do one more check. Mommy stole my Pokemons. <laughs> and that's it, we're all done for the night. I can see no more orders came in. You know what that means. It means now that we have to do uh, a giveaway, right? So I'm gonna go open up the giveaway channel. I'll be right back. My poor chair is squeaking, squeak. Jumping over here to giveaways. We're gonna clone the channel. And we're going to go ahead and delete this. Feed us, delete us. <laughs> I see you guys. You're accidentally clicking on the... Um... All right. Well, anyways. So where are we? Whoa, they changed it. What the hell? They changed the way permissions work. Well, hold on. So is it open now? It's not? They changed permissions. View channel, manage channel, create channel, send messages. Okay, so we're turning send messages on. 
Oh, there it goes. People are going nuts. Wow, I hate this music for Minecraft. Minecraft new OST sucks. Nah, it doesn't say anything. All right, well, I tell you what. Whew. Let's get the number generator open. Bring it over here. And now we're gonna lock the channel up. You guys got five seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, half, zero. All right, so we're no longer taking any new numbers. And we're gonna jump over to the number generator. Here we go. So the winning number is 51. Let's find out who guessed 51. Josh says, I paid to express the Mewtwo. Sounds good, mister. I'll send it, send it out. Now we're gonna look for 51. Nobody had 51. How about 50? Nobody had 50, 49. All right, it looks like Tiger Boy is the winner. Look at that, Tiger Boy. Tiger Boy picked up 49. He's the only one who guessed it. He says redo. <laughs> Are you ready, Tiger Boy? So. Oh, Tiger Boy actually got a hit too. That's Dark File Plume Hollow. Very nice. Very nice, mister. And uh, I feel like I've seen your bag up top, Tiger Boy. Where's your bag? I know I've seen you over here, right? Am I going crazy? Tiger Boy, tell me I'm going crazy. Here it is. How's it going, Tiger Boy? Glad you're still hanging around, man. Here's your Dark Vile Plume. He says, but I stayed up. Let me win. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't taken a moment and hit the subscribe button, I'd really appreciate it if you did. Uh, I hope you guys have a happy, merry Thanksgiving tomorrow. Uh, well, it's Christmas Eve. Today's Christmas Eve. Tomorrow's Christmas. I probably will still stream, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, you know, I don't have an extra extravagant Christmas plan. Probably just be another day for me. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys get lots of presents and lots of Pokemons, and then we can get two thousand Biden bucks, and I'll crack a I'll crack a, a fossil box in half. <laughs> Anyways, see you later, guys. How's it going, Gray Wolf? Uh, we're ending the stream right now, Gray Wolf. See you guys.